right, hello! What's up, Prodigy? Good morning! Hi, Val! Hi, Bills! Is a leader? Hi, so Tacto! Hello, hello! How's everyone doing today? On this fine ass Wednesday? I don't know why my in game music just stops playing every time I tab out and then it doesn't go back on. <laughs> Yo, Kirby, thank you for the 20 months. Holy crap. You're back again. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Hi, Shobas. Hi, Bob, for real. Oh, I hear the, I hear the intro music a little bit quietly. Another day of Skyrim. I'm excited for today. I, <laughs> when I ended my stream last night... I could not stop talking about the Elder Scroll to Jimmy, and <laughs> he's like, he, he's obviously finished Skyrim, like he's played through the whole main story, so he couldn't really say much, so he just listened, but I just, <laughs> I just kept talking about what I read in the in-game books, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. What's up? Where's my booster? Hi, Jeff. Um... We bombed out 99 Fletching yeah. today, posted a pic in the Discord server. Holy shit, congrats. Unless you're bringing me another Oh crap, I'm stuck. Keep walking. <laughs> Let's just keep an Jeezy, jeezy. Such a chore to stop. I've been thinking about playing RuneScape lately. Not like to stream it, but I just want to play. I kind of miss it. Be good. Sorry, I'm trying to get my headset volume right. I feel like I hear myself really, really what clear and it's at? creeping me out. I don't like hearing myself. <laughs> Yeah, I've been wanting to play RuneScape. I didn't know. Did you guys know that in your player owned house in RuneScape, you could get a fucking basement in your house and put little creatures in there? Like, not pets. Like, they're not your pets that you collected, but they're just, um, just creatures from construction. I had no idea you could do that. I feel like no one ever showcases the cool stuff you can have in your POH. So I just had no idea that was a thing. I saw it in Jimmy's, um, on his computer, and it made me want to play. <laughs> I can't kill Jad. I'm a fucking noob. Yeah, you can. I believe in you too. My days at the college are long you could do it. It just might take I a few tries, but you can 100% do it. You could do it. And you will do it. Did I get past the snow area yesterday by the guy in the cave? Um, yeah, like I, I talked to the guy in the cave. If that's what you mean. Yes. Like I, I survived. Okay, this guy keeps pushing me. One day I'm gonna snap. Yes. I like this guy. Like, I feel like he's my guardian angel, but he gets all up in my face sometimes. And he starts pushing my character. What? And like, I swear, one day was, it's gonna make me freak out, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be bad. I might get arrested for it, but... Sometimes he's really, he's really pushing my buttons. Stop! <laughs> I just wanna... I just wanna take a break from him getting, being in my face for a little bit. I don't want him to disappear for forever, but I just want him to give me a if you're give me a break. <laughs> well, then you've seen the sights. Might as well. I can. Hi, Simple Jack. Was once very powerful in Winterhold. It's my honor to assist him even now. Who just left the house? Winterhold may not look impressive. <laughs> Winterhold was once the capital um... of Skyrim, you know. Quite an honor. All right, let me, let me, let me think of what we did yesterday. Quick little recap. I feel like so much happened yesterday, lore-wise, that I don't even know how to... <laughs> or, what, okay, one sentence summary of what happened yesterday. I traded a, a life. I traded a human life for three books. <laughs> and I'm, I will just say, it wasn't my choice. It was actually the chat's choice. I can't even take responsibility for that, because I was torn. I didn't know what to do, but the chat decided. We took a vote, and we ended up trading a human life for three books. And You're like me, huh? now the books I have to hand in to Winterhold, so that's what we're going to do. Chat voted to save them for veto diction <laughs> like the guy. No! The vote, it won, it was by one vote, which is the majority. The majority ruled, and one... It was one vote more to to sacrifice him to get the books. So, I mean, that's the majority. It was 18 to 17. 
why was that vote? <laughs> I don't think it lets me vote in the polls. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oops. Have we named him yet? Santa isn't really a name. The guy that keeps following me? Santa is a name. Isn't it short for Saint Nicholas or something? Or what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the lore of Santa. It's absolutely a name. Hacking nothing. Hi, natural beast B. Hi, John. Yeah, I'm on the librarian grind set. We really don't take kindly to people stealing books. Hi, Deacon. I wanted to read the books that I got, but I don't know which ones are the quest books. I, you know what, let's quick save real quick. Oh my god, they got the orb! Okay, that, that's another thing that happened yesterday. We found a beautiful pondering orb in, in some kind of old cave. How do, how do they transport this crap? Well, I have Magnus. Oh, it doesn't let me activate it. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. <gasps> Wait, I gotta talk to well, this guy. This better be good. Are you doing Black Reach today, the crazy guy quest? Um, possibly. I want to finish this, this quest I'm doing now with the books and everything. Because it has a lot of good lore. I'm learning a lot about the history of the Dwemer, I think they're called, like the old Dwarven. No, are they Dwarven or, no, they were elves. I think they were elves. The Dwe Dwemer, Dwevern. I can't forget what they're called. Or I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> My brain's not working. <laughs> the orb is from Sarthal, Sarthal? Yeah, from the, the cave. Um, here are the books. Well, well. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this. Wait, one. I want to read the book too. Well, isn't that interesting? I hope he summarizes them. It no, I didn't. If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here, I suppose you've earned these. Um, fuck, he took the books. Alright, he gave me some books, though. A lot of books. But I want the- I want the lore books. I didn't get to read them. Oh, man. Should I, like, reload? I quick saved right before I walked in. Should I reload my save real quick and read the books before I... It takes them forever? I think I have to. <laughs> I think it's the one time I gotta reload my, my quick save, because I... Should have read them before I gave them to him. They seem important. In this game, they're both dwarves and elves? Huh, I didn't know that was possible. Okay, so I think the books were Last King of A Leads. Um I think the actual extra arc oh my god. <laughs> Arcturian Heresy. I think that was one of the books. And I don't know. Oh, and the last one was Fragment on Arteum. All right. I can read them real quick. This king. Hi, Persian. Hi, Wolfie. Hope you have a good stream on Skyrim. Thanks, dude. I think I will. I've been having a great time on this game. I'm in love with it. All right, you guys ready for some, for some heavy reading? <laughs> This, I, I guess this one's not that long. Um. Alright, the Aelids, or Heartland High Elves, ruled Cyrodiil in the long ages of myth before the beginning of recorded history. Um. One of the earliest recorded dates, in fact, is the fall of White Gold Tower in 1E243, which is commonly assumed to mark the end of the Aelids. Although Aelid ruled over all of Cyrodiil, was indeed broken in 1E243. This was only one of the most obvious stages near the end of a long decline. The first two centuries of the first era saw increasing strife between the great Aelid lords of Cyrodiil. Alessia appears to have taken advantage of a period of civil war to launch her uprising. Imperial historians have traditionally attributed her victory to intervention from Skyrim, but it appears that she had at least as much help from rebel Aelid lords during the siege of White Gold Tower. 
The popular image of the elites as brutal slave masters is based in fact, of course, but is less well known that a number of elite prin princes continued to rule parts of Cyrodiil after 243 as vassals of the new empress of Cyrodiil. This suggests that either Aelid rule was not universally detested or that Alessia and her successors were more pragmatic than is traditionally believed, or perhaps some of both. Um, in any event, excavations at a number of Aelid sites show continued occupation and even expansion during this so-called late Aelid period. At first, many Aelid lords continued to rule as vassals of the new human regime. Uh, in some cases, Aelid supporters of Alessia were even rewarded the land taken from slain enemies. It's not clear what extent human slavery continued under the Cyrodiilic Empire. Humans continued to dwell in Aelid-ruled areas of Cyrodiil, but there is nothing de definitive to show under what terms. The relationship was uneasy from the beginning. It was not destined to last long. Resentment at the continued presence of Aelid nobles within the Empire was a contributing factor to the rise of the so-called Alessian Order, founded by Maruk. The first victims of the Alessians were the Aelids of Cyrodiil in the early 300s. The surviving Aelid communities in human-ruled areas were obliterated by one. The refugees temporarily swelling the power of the remaining Aelid lordships. Hey, Matt, thank you for the 81 months. <laughs> it is I for the 81st month to remind you. <laughs> thank you for the reminder. Oh, I know. I do gotta, I do gotta do it. Get the sub-badges. Uh, Pop quiz was an Aelid. Uh, I guess they're elves. I feel like this is the first time I've heard, I've seen them mentioned. I don't really know anything about them. This is, it's, it might not be the first mention, but I really don't know much about them. I guess they're elves. Um... All right, let's, uh, let's finish this book. All right, a remnant Aelid population seems to have survived the rule of the Alessians because we hear of the last king of the Aelids joining the Battle of Glenum Gl Glenumbria Moors, where the Durenus decisively defeated the Alessians in 482. How this, people's, or how this king's people survived the preceding century is unknown. We don't know who they were, although recent research points in Nenalata as a possible resting place of this last king. All right. Did I write any notes about them? About the Aelids? No, I, I really feel like I haven't heard of them at all. Like, throughout my playthrough. Been lurking since Skyrim Day 1, despite finishing this entire game once. You found books, corners, and NPCs I've never talked to. That's really cool. I... I like that you could play through this entire game and then play through it again and find things that you didn't know existed. I feel like that's a sign of a good game, at least for me. Mm. Oh, wait, Greybeards. These books are really hard for me to follow right now because like they're just mentioning so many things I've never heard of before. Um, like names I've never heard, uh, countries I don't know about, like Cyrodiil, I don't, I assume that's a country that's not Skyrim or something. So it's really hard to follow because I'm just like bombarded with information, which I assume it's from other games because right now I see it says Morrowind. So I assume if when I play Morrowind, this will make more sense. Oh man, that's a long book. I think we we save these books for later because I the Archmage believed it important. I'm having trouble making sense of them to begin with right now. We don't know that. We don't even know what it is. Where is Arin anyway? In his quarters with that Thalmor. It's confusing. That's one of the things I liked about it. I like a non. Um. Well, what would be the word? Like, I like a story that's not fully clear as well. But it takes a lot of time for me to wrap my head around it. If, especially if I'm missing, like, old games and context. But I'm gonna play the old games, and then stuff's gonna make more sense to me. I think we're gonna play Oblivion next. After Skyrim. Oops. 
I gave him the books. Thank you. I'm hoping he'll summarize the books because he says he's gonna look them over. Anything relevant? Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? Hi, Orange. If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. Elder Scrolls history is also distorted by who writes the history, which I love. To be fair, I like stuff like that too. And stuff like that makes me want to start taking notes. Like I. I honestly didn't think I would do it for this game, and I'm still debating on if I should, but... Like, for for games like Dark Souls and stuff, I, I take notes to remember all the, like, little bits, and it helps. It helps a lot to put together bits and pieces of the story. Alright then. Need something? They have the same voice. Yes. Until next time. What now? See? They have the same voice. What do you want? All right, what do you then. want? What are you looking at? <laughs> it's the exact Until same voice time. actor. Yeah, yes, they do. <laughs> what are you looking at? Someone's got to fucking record their voices right now, back to back. What do you and, want? And uh, put it through some program to prove that it's the same. If you like identifying the same voice actor as a lot, you'll love Oblivion. <laughs> I just think it's funny that it's the exact same voice actor. It would be pretty, like, you know, there's so many characters in this game. It'd be pretty wild for there to be a different voice actor for every single one. But it's just kind of funny. <laughs> it's just funny how it's, like, the exact same. Like, they, it doesn't change his tone at all. What do you want? They kind of... They kind of got the same level of grumpiness between each other. If you're playing older games, get ready for the downgrades. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not going to expect them to be as polished as this game, if they're the older ones. Okay, I want to see I if he... I see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Aw, oh, man. I can't get to these books. I want to see where he placed the books that I retrieved for him. So, like, I can read them later if I want to. Alduin is real. Oh, we read that one. Hmm. Hi, Weed. Oblivion has less bugs, but it's goofier. Honestly, I... I feel like the bugs I've experienced in Skyrim have been pretty minimal. Like, I definitely have experienced bugs, like, for sure. But they haven't really been that that bad. Like, I don't think I've experienced anything, like, game-breaking that I could think of. Like, literally yesterday, I fell through the floor in a dungeon and then landed like nothing happened in the same dungeon. So, like, wacky stuff happens, but there's not a lot of repercussions for it. Can you possibly help Chesargo? Maybe. It is difficult to admit, but Chesargo could still you. Chesargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Chesargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Maybe. I don't Cesargo know. Chesargo has worked hard on learning new spells. Trying new things. This will make Jazargo stand out as I don't like that he talks in but third Jazargo person. Works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jazargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jazargo when you are ready. It's a very sketchy request. I mean, maybe he should do Jazargo his own work. Sees what you are up to. Very well. I don't want to be his little test subject. What the heck? He could he could test that on his own. Very weird. Oh yeah, that's true. I do have the patch, like the unofficial patch mod or whatever. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he walking like this? Skyrim could not be more different from elsewhere, but magic, magic.
magic is the same no matter where you go. Yeah, he's walking like he's about to assassinate someone with magic. It's creeping me out. Okay, I gotta find Tolf Deer. Oh, is that him? That's not. Oh, yes, it is. I don't know why I didn't recognize him. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. It's a kitty cat walk. I've seen other Does kitty cats in this game walk very normally. <laughs> Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something. Oh my God! There? Why didn't I read that one? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. Sure. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike any. I hear. Else. What the fuck? Alien, Grandma, Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. I'm trying to listen to him talk, but that guy is so no, distracting I'm not right now. Quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive. I'm so distracted right now. I can't even listen to him. This, this is not the place to practice magic. It's so loud. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I'm No, I. It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. Please don't this is bother. Most me. inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. I love well, this orb so sure much. Interrupted like this before. The audacity. How do you think they, they got it here? How do you think they, they carried it all the way back? Keep and put your arms around it. Let's go. Really? Will allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psychic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're Ooh. going to go have a little chat with you. Some important. Exactly what it is he wants. Oh, yeah, that's true. They they could have rolled it there. <laughs> that would actually be the easiest way to get it there is roll it up with the snow and everything off the mountains. It's probably it probably radiates heat so it melted the snow so it didn't get stuck on it. I'll be the one asking the question. All you need to know is that the Psijic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, I can't think. and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. Or did they build the college around it, around the sphere? No, because this wasn't here. We found the sphere in a cave during a class field trip. And they, they brought it back somehow. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. All right. Can you really blame the cat for creating a ruckus when you don't want them to? That's a good point. That is a very cat-like quality. <laughs> How did they get it out of that tiny cave door? Yeah, the door was very small to that cave. It doesn't make much sense. But, I, can't, I guess magic. Damn, where are we going? We're going to the roof? Oh no, not the roof. Hurry up, old man. Please do not be alone. Whoa. I mean you know how right as fuck. It is good to meet you in person. Well, that was what's I going on? To talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. Oh, we're in the situation okay. here at your college is of dire importance. We're in like some magical force field right now. As we have previously have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, 
the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. Visions? The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And I don't so even I recall getting a vision. To tell you it must be dealt with. Hey, what's this got to do with me? You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthor. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically I didn't really do anything. intervene directly in events. My presence here will it's be a seen field as trip. to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially... Hey, what's up, Booty? Your Thalmor associate. Hi, Mr. Goodlivin. my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. And well, what's the As freaking problem? Known, this object, the eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, I should in the eat that orb. It has already. Rather, eat it and absorb the soon, power. Something that cannot be avoided. We believe that you have a lot of responsibility for me. <laughs> with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. Dunlane? His perception may be more coherent than ours. Um, he was once was a that? student here at the college. Now he is... something different. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I want to know who this I'm sorry guy I cannot is. I provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Oh, he's okay, so now, I'm trying to remember he's from the Saiyak order. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Mm. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here she is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What? <laughs> he's he's, 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 not going he's anywhere, gaslighting him right now. <laughs> I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. Kind of was up we to something. Will see about this. Honestly, I don't like this Thalmor guy, but I can't blame him for being annoyed right now. <laughs> I kind I get it. This guy's messing with his head. You must excuse me. I shouldn't be here. Kill the Thalmor guy? He didn't do anything wrong. But I assure you, I will get to the I don't really like him, but he didn't do anything wrong. I can't. <laughs> Not really a good reason to kill him. Oh, dude, now everyone's practicing magic here. I'm just trying to look at my new orb. Um. I guess I gotta find this Augier guy. Well, a Thalmor sympathizer, <laughs> what does this world come to? This better be good. The Thalmor are pretty fucked up. I I do agree that I don't like them generally, but I don't know that just that one guy. He didn't really do anything. Oh, I guess I gotta start talking to people within the what college to find them. Who's this? If there are any problems, let me know. That's nothing you need to concern yourself with. Please. Very well. It's not something often discussed, as it might be misunderstood hmm. by the locals. The Aga is down in the Nidden, below the college. I don't recommend going down there unless it's absolutely necessary. Wait, they got like a college dungeon of some sort? College. What now? Prison? Oh? Damn, I did not notice this before. 
How long it has it been since my last death? I don't know. I don't remember. Probably about like, if I had to guess, like probably like two hours of playtime at least. But I'm not certain. I died yesterday and lost some really good stuff. And it was sad. But then I didn't die for a while. It was just a cool little place. Well, underground tunnel system. I love me a good underground tunnel system. I would just come and hang out here if I could. Your death equals drop items roll. Does that mean you can't get them back? Um, I can't like pick them back up, but I can get them back if I buy them from like a store, but it's just very expensive. Um, and I lose all my money when I die too, so I'd have to like grind up. Well, not grind up, like, like grind for the money again. Oh fuck, I hate those ice wraith things. A modded playthrough? Yeah, the... I kept like very minimal mods, but I have like a death penalty mod. That I'm really enjoying. But I want to keep the mods really minimal. I want to experience the game as it as it is, but just change the way that deaths work. I, I've said it a few times, but I really don't like the way the deaths work in this game naturally. Just like how you die and you reload the game. I I, I just don't like that way of playing things. I don't think it's as interesting. Whoa, little little ritual spot of some sort. I lack the required item. Damn, that's cool. Hey, maybe we gotta put the orb here. Ooh. The Atronach Forge offers few clues as to who built it, even fewer as to how to unlock its full potential. Um... Okay, features a Daedric rune. Uh... Also features a large setting which seems to receive some large spherical object. Well, it's gotta be the fucking sphere. It's gotta be the big floating sphere upstairs. <laughs> Uh, it's activated by placing certain items into the offering box and pulling the lever. The forge consumes items and conjures something upon the day days. The conjuration can be predicted reliably if the appropriate items are left in the box, but many combinations either have no effect or catastrophic reactions. Once I conjured a wild goat. That's pretty cool. I love goats. Um, experimenting with the forge is dangerous. Oh. Wait, flame, Atronach, fire salts, and ruby. I think I have fire salts and a ruby. I just got them. Uh, oh, fire salt. And a ruby. Wait, did I give the fire salt? I don't know if I did. What? Why is it fighting me? I thought I was summoning it to be my friend. <laughs> I thought... I thought I was summoning this person or this thing to be my companion. <laughs> I guess I fully misunderstood. Well, that was disappointing. What's the point of that? Ow. Oh boy, I gave him fire salts and I got less fire salts back. <laughs> Let me finish reading this book. 
Oh yeah, I okay. <laughs> I didn't even read the left side where it says be ready for battle. <laughs> Oops. Was not paying attention. I just got too excited. I saw the recipe and I was like, wait, we gotta do it. He shows Flubby. Yeah. Um This is me. I'm a wood elf. As long as you don't look at my eyes, I, I, looks, I think my character looks pretty good. Just the eyes kind of freak me out a little bit. Whoa, I just heard a growl. Oh. That's not fair, they got the high ground and I can't get them. Yes, I can actually. Oh. Alright, now this is fair for me. I'm trying to go back and forth, like strafe, so I don't get hit by the arrows. <laughs> your elbow belt bent like that? Uh, double jointed. It's, it's just like a wood elf thing, probably. Classic wood elf thing. Oh, <gasps> carrying too much. Uh oh. Man, I have a lot of things. Holy shit. I didn't realize I had so much stuff. I don't even know what to get rid of. I like a lot of the stuff I have. Am I wearing one of my backpacks? I am. Ah, that's enough. Did I compete in the RuneScape Gilnor games? I did! I was in the first season and like a little bit of the second one. Alright, let's keep it going. Hey, Postmaster! Thank you for the sub! Ooh, the mid and dark. Damn, look at that thing. Ooh, that's a cool place. Um Holy crap, that reminds me of I don't know. There is no help for you here. Nothing. <laughs> reminds me of nothing actually. <laughs> Whoa, trip on a fucking bone. I went to replay Skyrim because of you playing it last night. Forgot I had Thomas the Train engine mod on for dragons. <laughs> Scared the living crap out of me. That's really funny. Imagine someone playing for the first time ever with that mod and just being like, I, I don't know. Just thinking it's like some stupid meme game. Like not like a real serious game. <laughs> Hi Lokander. I don't know which way to go. Got so many so many options for where to walk right now. I'm a little overwhelmed. Baked potato, let's go. Damn, dude, these skeletons are so weak. Oh my god, their bones make me fall over, though. <laughs> and I- oh my god! I can't even walk over them. Oh, my screen's all bloody. Whoa. It seems like a trap. It seems like I walk up to it, I high-five it, and the floor falls through my feet or something. I'm scared. I can't even do anything. Hmm. 
Did I finish the main storyline of this last few days? Um, no, I haven't finished it. I have no idea like how far I am or anything. I don't want to know how far I am though. <laughs> I don't want to know if I'm close to the game being over or not because I don't want it to be over. Oh, a key. What'd you miss yesterday? Yesterday was pretty big for lore. I learned a little bit about the Elder Scroll yesterday. Um, I can't remember the name of the guy I talked to, but he was very wacky. He lives in, a, in an ice cave. He told me about the Elder Scroll a little bit. Nothing really concrete though. He kind of spoke in riddles and nonsense. And it was hard to, it's hard to wrap my head around what he was saying. But I'm hoping I learn more the more, the more we play, the more we read. All right, let's read this report real quick. The missing students were found in the mid end this morning. Dead as, dead as expected. None of us bothered keeping a detect life charm for the search at this point. The bodies were found together, each suffering the same deformities, peeled and bubbling skin on the arms and face. Conjurers burn as it's commonly referred to around the college. There's little doubt they are attempting a summoning ritual well beyond their capabilities. If the relic nearby put any doubt in this theory to rest. I admit that I've never seen one like it. A large, segmented sculpture of a gauntlet, the Daedric sigil emblazed upon the palm. Attempts to move it were in vain. I must show it to the Archmage Sedoth during his upcoming visit. Perhaps he'll know more. While we couldn't move the relic, I was able to pry four rings from it. I'm sure there's a connection between them and the ritual the students were attempting. I'll store these in the Arcanaeum until we can consult with a Conjuration Master to learn more. Damn, I guess I gotta go get those rings. Even though they're saying not to do the ritual, I'm still kind of just like, well, I could do the ritual, just not anyone else. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a necromancer type type person. I have a weird anxiety where I need to know exactly how much. Um, main story quest content is left, especially in terms of hours. I have no idea why. That's funny. I'm the exact opposite where I feel like, maybe not anxious, but definitely, I don't like knowing how much is left because I don't like knowing it's close to the ending. I like being left in the dark a little bit. I like a good mystery, you know? Like I hate when I'm watching a movie and I, you know, you, you pause the movie for a second, oh, and you can see how many hours are left or how many minutes are left. That always bums me out really bad because I'm like, man, now I'm gonna start like trying to predict the ending or something instead of just letting the story flow on its own. Had to make sure it was dead. So yeah, don't. Nobody tell me how close we are to the end, because I, I don't want to know. I don't like knowing what's left, but if there's a good or bad ending, I have to get the good ending, especially in the Metro series. Do you mean like on your first playthrough, do you have to like look up how to get the ending you want? Whoa. The heck? Hey, what's up, Scoot? You're three minutes away from the ending, imagine. <laughs> Yeah, where the fuck are we? Wait, I'm in the... <gasps> oh no, I can't go back to where I just was! No! Oh man. Well, where the fuck am I? Oh, we're not far, okay. <laughs> a little bit dramatic of a reaction. I thought... I thought I was way further. I thought they just transported me to the middle of the freezing place. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay, um... I figure out how to get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I see where we are. We're actually... We're not very far at all. I was very confused even still. Even after checking the map for a second, I was very turned around. I just gotta not freeze to death <laughs> real quick and we'll be okay. Gotta get back up top somehow. Ooh. I'm trying really hard not to get in the water. What is this? Oh. Never seen a clam before. Skyrim environments look gorgeous. Yeah, this game is so pretty. I've been trying to take a lot of screenshots as I play. It is save the memory of how pretty it is. In Skyrim, are you affected by the cold like in Zelda? Um, for me, like normally no, but for me right now, yes. I'm playing survival mode, but um, the survival mode isn't on by default. Like you have to turn it on manually. So I think most people did not play this way. Also, I think the survival mode is kind of new. It, it wasn't in the game when it first came out, based on what people in the chat have said. But yeah, for me right now, I am affected by the cold. And I will freeze to my death if I stay here too long. Oh, and I'm hungry. Survival was pretty new in the lifetime of the game. I'm so happy that I got to play with survival mode for the first time. Like, for my first playthrough. Because I think it's really adding to my love for the game. I'm sure I would have still liked the game without survival mode, but I, for me personally, survival mode adds a lot to it. I feel like people are really... Um, like, a lot of people feel really strong about survival mode in games. Like, some people think it takes away from the experience a lot, which I totally understand. Like, some people find, like, the having to eat all the time and everything just really annoying and tedious. But I like it, because it makes me feel like... I don't know. I really do think it's... <laughs> it's like a feminine urge to take care of things. Like, I'm taking care of my own character, which makes me feel more connected to my character. Which makes me feel more immersed in the whole experience. I don't know. Let's sate that appetite, huh? I don't know what it is, but I really, really like it. Survival such permadeath adds so much to the game. I agree. Do I plan to do any Fallout 3 or New Vegas? Yeah, I, I really want to play New Vegas. Until next time. I've heard great things about it. I've heard good things about Fallout in general. I think people, like, Fallout is just a beloved series, I guess. Um, but I, I want to play New Vegas specifically since I live in Vegas. Privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. Huh. Trying to warm up at his fire. Also, did this place have a basement? I didn't notice this before. Damn, dude, this place is huge! They're living pretty good. Excuse me, Hilda. I do wish the hungry mechanic was slightly more realistic, like my character can eat 14 apples and still be hungry. <laughs> my yeah, I'll, I agree with that. It, you do have to eat a lot in this game for it to, like, count. But to be fair, you know, you're running around wearing heavy armor, using up all those calories all the time. So, you're, you know, you definitely would need to eat more than... I would in real life just sitting down, I guess.
Fallout is great. New Vegas can be a little wonky sometimes, but it's very fun. I was planning on playing New Vegas after Skyrim, but that, like, I, I said that right at the start of my Skyrim playthrough. I didn't realize I'd get super into the story of Skyrim. So, I still want to play New Vegas, but I, I think I want to play Oblivion first. And, and maybe Morrowind, too, before anything else. Oh, hey, we got Santa Claus coming with us. Okay, this time I have to not leave the cave by accident. <laughs> Let's crawl up into this womb real quick and find the right way to go. I don't remember which way I went last time. I don't know if I went this way. I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, I don't know. Oh yeah. I need to get the rings from the arc, uh, Arcanium or something like that. Oh yeah, and here we get the spiders, okay. Oh yeah, and then this was the exit. Yeah, okay, I don't want to go that way. Okay, we're circling back. I took a wrong turn somewhere. Ooh, uh, an instrument. Potatoes. Follow your heart in the quest compass. <laughs> I, I feel like I can't even follow the quest compass here because I... It's getting so turned around. Damn, that's... That's a fucking leg. jump boost into there. Okay, I feel like I went this way, but maybe I didn't. Your perseverance will only lead to disappointments. I don't have the key? Persist. Very well. You may enter. Wait, really? Let me in then. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, it's a spirit or a. Oops, oh, that's not really a ghost. That is so bright. I'm getting flash banged right now. Are in vain. It is already begun. Those who have sent you have not told you what they seek, what you seek. I don't know what I seek. I'm. Yeah, what am I seeking? I was just following instructions. Alright, that's true. I do love knowledge. You shall find this. Knowledge will corrupt. It will destroy. It will consume. That's not what I want to hear. I love learning things. <laughs> Shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. Mostly, I just want understanding. Now, what about the One Thalmor? Calls himself Ancano. He 
seeks information about the eye, but what he will find shall be quite different. His path will cross yours in time, but first you must find that which you need. And we're getting, we're getting deep. You and those aiding you wish to know more about the eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center, so you must act with haste. Take hmm. this knowledge to it's your interesting because the the Elder Scrolls also make you blind if you if you read from them without being ready. Could be a little, little connection. All right, honestly, I trust that glowing blue spirit. <laughs> I will go talk to the Archmage, I guess. Is that why I have glasses? Yep. Yeah, I read the Elder Scroll once upon a time. Well, you know what's funny is in, in one of the books in game, it said that if you read the Elder Scroll, but you don't know what it is and you have no knowledge about it, it won't make you blind. Like, it won't affect you at all. And you know, up until like four days ago, I had no idea what the Elder Scroll was. Up until 10 days ago, I thought the Skyrim series was called Oblivion, but it's actually called, it was called Elder Scrolls the whole time, and I had no idea. I thought it was like Oblivion 1, Oblivion 2, Oblivion 3, Oblivion Skyrim, like whatever, but it was Elder Scrolls. I had that mixed up the whole time. But now I know. My eyes have been opened. Ooh, what the heck? That's a cool dagger. Ah, oh, makes things flee. Oh, I didn't even go this way. Oh, I guess it's just a dead, bloody end. Yo, if this was Dark Souls, this would 100% be a fake wall. Like a illusionary wall. I think, at least. I call the series Skyrim. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what I did. I thought it was called Oblivion. This is just one of the titles of the games, I guess. Oh shit, they got food for me here. Let's go. And money? No way. Oh my god, Hilda, you're not, you're not doing this right now. She's been blocking doorways. Okay, thank you. <laughs> She's been blocking doorways for me lately, like, non-stop, and I keep getting stuck, and it's making me mad. But she- she moved. You think you might also end up playing Fallout 4? Um, if I end up liking the Fallout series, yes. If I get really into the story. Because, like, originally I wasn't planning on playing Morrowind and Oblivion or anything for this. Are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. <laughs> but now that I now that I'm into the story, I want to play all of them. All right, we gotta talk to the Archmage. I'm, Is I I'm not sure yeah, I think that's happened. him. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several Fallout is extremely time. mid. What? I heard really good things about it. Like, I feel like it's really beloved. Um, have you heard of the Augur of Dunley? Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Um, got important information. Really? And what might that be? 
I see being kind of condescending I'm to sorry, me. What? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. It's connected to the orb. Well, how do you know of this? A blue spirit told me. Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. I can't tell if he's being an asshole or not. Like, I can't... His tone of voice for everything he says is just so condescending. Like, he sounds like he's being a dick, but I can't tell if he is. He says everything that way. A most impressive attitude. <laughs> like, he's just, he just sounds like he's being so rude. <laughs> Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Miravel mentioning the staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased All dark with elves are like that. Leader. I don't think I've met any you other dark elves really. To be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. I mean, he just gave me something so clearly. I think I think he's being genuine. Give me a little hat. Oh, a little, a little tiara. You like the Fallout story better than the Skyrim story, Orange? Or better than um Elder Scrolls? For me, I really like... I like stories that have a lot of, like, religious themes to him, I guess. Like, I like the medieval stuff with, like, gods and everything. So I feel like stories around this kind of stuff is definitely what I lean towards, but I don't even know what Fallout's about. So maybe I would really like Fallout. Oh, I had to find something in here. Looking for some rings, I guess, but I don't really want to do any stealing. I suppose if I have to, I might steal if I have to. But maybe the librarian give me something. Have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine. Understand? Never mind, he doesn't. Fight well. Those are books. Um. Man, I have a lot of quests. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, it's probably in there. I can't. Wait, what? Oh. I guess I had the key? I was... Alright. What are you you didn't see at? anything. I'm quick saving because <laughs> I'm paranoid that I just stole something. <laughs> Damn. I, did, I forgot that I got the key from downstairs. I, I was gonna try and lockpick it, but this is way easier. Have ever played A Plague's Tale? The story in that is amazing. I have not. I honestly, I don't play a lot of single player games. Well. Yeah, I, I don't play a lot of single player games. I have stuck with multiplayer games for a long time. Like most of my hours, like gaming hours, have gone into RuneScape and Counter-Strike for the past 10 years. And then before that, almost all of them went into like, Call of Duty. Yeah, a lot of hours into like World of Warcraft and stuff too in the past couple months. But for like, in the long run. Oh my god, Hilda! No way! <laughs> Hilda, you're ruining my life. Thank you, Hilda. Nope, I still can't get past. 
<laughs> okay. I'm about to send her home. She's really, really messing me up today. I don't have the patience for it. Hey, what's up, N1? Er, oh, it's not N1 anymore. You changed your name. Nyots. So jealous of realistic games to play. Yeah, it was all it was all calculated. I purposefully got addicted to, <laughs> to RuneScape and Counter Strike for ten years so that now I could experience all the beloved games for the first time. All the long beloved games. It it worked out for me, honestly. But yeah, I I really didn't expand my reach of games for a long time. Who's Hilda? Yeah, Hilda's my pet goat. She's great, like, I love her, but she's been bumping into me like a maniac today. Is that a mod? I've never seen it before. Uh, I think it's just with the anniversary edition. Glad to hear you're detoxing from that toxic game. Wait, which one? Counter-Strike? I still play Counter-Strike all the time. <laughs> I love Counter-Strike. I will never not love Counter-Strike. I still play it all the time. Am I good at it? Um, I definitely don't know if I'd say I'm good. I, I'm, I don't think I'm bad. I can... <laughs> I feel like with how many hours I have, I have like th over 3,000 hours. I think I have 3,500. So I can confidently say I'm not bad, but I don't know if I'd say I'm good. What's my rank? Um, On like Premiere or whatever it is on CS2. Dude, the rank, I feel like the ranks are not very accurate. I'm like rank 22,000 or something like that. Um, But the ranks in that, that doesn't mean like I'm... That's like the number, like that's like the ELO number. Um, I don't know how to explain the ranks in that game. Pretty much like me and all my friends I play with are that are rank 22,000, but my friends I think are definitely better than me. So it doesn't make sense I'm the same rank as them. Cause I don't only play with them, I solo queue a bit too. So it doesn't make sense I'm the same rank as them when they're better than me. So I don't know. I feel like the rank in that game is kind of inaccurate. How is World of Warcraft? World of Warcraft is probably one of the best games I've ever played. I had a really great time playing Classic. What rank was I before CSGO went down the shitter? Wait, what do you mean when did it go down the shitter? Oh, you mean before CS2? I was global on CSGO, but again, like, I still don't think matchmaking rank is very, like, accurate. Because, like, again, my friends are also global and I think they're better. Than me by a lot. I think the face it ranks are a lot more accurate. I'm level seven on a face it, and my friends are level ten, so I feel like that's better representation. Anyway, I I think I'm gonna put the rings onto this thing, even though there's like a little note here that said not to. <laughs> even though this little book says bad things happen when you put the ring on, I think I can handle it. I think we could do it. Just make sure I'm well fed, just in case something bad happens. Yeah. Oh, and I got my buddy here to help me, in case things go bad. But how do I know which which ring's the right one? I don't know which one's the right one. Well, let me what do you want? look at the report again. Ah, oh, it doesn't say. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I could just put the rings on. What? Now? Why are you bumping into me, Santa Claus? I'm trying to do a ritual. Oh, okay. It's so it, it doesn't even let me place the ring unless it's the right one. Hey. Hey. You hey, I'm doing something. He's like bumping into me and then yelling at me. Stop. Ooh. What now? What do you 
Where'd they go? Oh, whoa! Um. I was beginning to think the day would never come. So, you broke. So glad I have subtitles on right now. Matters little. Would not understand a word he was saying if I didn't have subtitles. All the same, and here I stay. Oh, I'm back. I don't even know who this guy is. I, if this is like part of a quest, I don't have the quest. I just found, I just put the rings on him. Where I belong is back aboard my ship. Oh, it's a pirate. You've no hope of defeating me, Pop. Don't bother. Why not? Someone who wouldn't win in a fight. That's something someone who wouldn't win would say. I'm listening though. <laughs> kids are dead anyway. Killing me won't bring them back. Oh, he's talking about the kids who tried to do the ritual before me. Oh He like sound he sounds like he's drowning kind of. I probably I'm probably supposed to know more about this guy, but I don't have, like, a quest. Names have power, Lash. You should know by now. He sounds like that he's, like, say, got water in his throat. Say, probably because he's a pirate. I probably drowned on a ship or something. I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. I'm on my way. Um, oh, I'm gonna banish him. Oh. I thought words had power. Ah! Let's go, Santa Claus. Wait. Oh, never mind. Oh my, I didn't even get a chance to hit him. Santa Claus, you're a maniac. <laughs> What? Ooh, he's got cool clothes. I don't really want his sword. Yes. Good work, this Santa. Be good. What now? I don't know. Hey. I guess we're forgiving him for bumping into us 80 times. <laughs> yeah. He saved my life here, so all the annoyances are forgiven, I guess. Hmm. Well, can I get the rings back at least? I want these. They look, look how cool they look. Those yes. look pretty cool on my hand. Or on my in-game hey. hand, at least. <coughs> Need something. I'm surprised, like, I really feel like, I don't know, something should have happened. Maybe there is, like, that other little ritual spot, so let's go check that out. And hey, the, the liars, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Wait, this is not the right way. Hmm. I don't know why this little cave is making me get so lost. Good night, Popsy. I played Skyrim so many times, never seen this. <laughs> Maybe it could be because I have an anniversary edition. People, people in the chat have been saying that the anniversary edition adds a lot of things. Which I didn't know. I probably wouldn't have gotten the anniversary edition if I had known that. But I, I'm at, at the same time, I like a lot of the things that it adds. Like, I really like survival mode. I think survival mode is, like, extremely adding to my experience. So I'm glad I have that.
Wait, this is... This is a vanilla quest? Or story or whatever? That's good. And I guess, like, if they added it to the anniversary edition... Like, technically... Like, that makes... Anything they added... Would be considered, like, canon, wouldn't it? Like, for the story? Because they... Added it to the main game? Like, because someone who doesn't know anything about Skyrim and gets it for the first time, like me, last week. <laughs> like, I, I'm not going to know which version of the game to get. I got the most <laughs> expensive one on Steam because I assumed it came with everything. Oh, yeah. This is where I wanted to go. Ah. I didn't even notice this was a wardrobe. Quest has always been in the game. Oh, okay. It's easily missed, not part of a mark quest. I see. Oh, <laughs> I keep like, <laughs> I keep tripping, like actually tripping in game on these like random bones on the ground. <laughs> hey, what's up, Shani? Whoa, did I go this way? Oh yeah, that's where I came from. Never mind. There's heaps of hidden content in the Elder Scroll games. I love stuff like that so much because I like exploring and finding little little secrets. Or at least like feeling like I found a little secret. the guy the daedric or no what was his name oh my god the blue ghost spirit <laughs> it talked about this guy I am an advisor to the i am at the archmage's disposal if he requires advice he's not really saying anything i started playing daggerfall recently and while the whole thing doesn't hold up great if you imagine playing it back in the 90s it would have been mind-blowing there's a scale to that game that no games reach except like minecraft and no man's sky like what do you mean by that about the scale hey what's up billy is this actually your first skyrim experience it is i don't know well i was gonna say i don't know how i managed to like miss this game for a long time but i knew it existed i just played other games instead Book of the Dragonborn. Isn't this... I think someone yesterday said this book was like 50 pages long. Let's see. Oh no, it wasn't this one. I'll have to read that one later. Dagger Falls procedurally generated something like 63,000 square miles. Wait, that game is procedurally generated? Wait, that's really cool. I didn't know that. Isn't that game like really old? I didn't know they were doing that back then. Honestly, I didn't even hear about like procedurally generated games very much at all yes. until I guess Minecraft. But even after Minecraft, I didn't hear about them at all for a long time. The parts of the game you actually play are handmade. That's cool, that makes me want to play it. So, some people in the chat were talking about it a couple days ago though, and were saying that it's like a really hard game to play now. But I saw, I looked up like screenshots of it and like little bits of gameplay of it. And it didn't, it doesn't really look that bad. It didn't look as bad as people were describing it in the chat. 
Daggerfall or Morrowind? Daggerfall. Oh shit, Dragon. Daggerfall is the one that people in the chat were saying, like, doesn't hold up and it's hard to play. Oh man, we gotta try and kill this dragon. Um, do I have an arrow? Or a bone arrow? I do. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh! Okay. I'm, like, forgetting all my spells right now. Where the fuck did he go? Dude, I'm so bad with the bone arrow. This is gonna be really embarrassing for me. Well, while he's not moving, this is actually not bad. <laughs> Once he starts moving, everything's gonna fall apart for me. I cannot hit a moving target. For the life of me. <laughs> I can't even... <laughs> I can't even aim fast enough. Oh man, I'm like actually freezing to death. I gotta run inside a building. I can't help with this dragon fight. I gotta... The guards gotta figure this one out. I'm gonna freeze to death. Let's <laughs> gotta chill around this fire. Why does your game not have a crosshair on the bow? Did you disable it? Um, I disabled like the crosshair that's always turned on. There, There is a crosshair in the middle of my screen all the time. And I turned that off because it was annoying. But I guess that means it's turned off even when I'm like aiming down sight. Hey, did the dragonborn just run into the inn during the dragon attack? <laughs> Only because it's cold. It's fucking freezing. Also, this dragonborn's feeling a little bit sleepy. So while the dragon's out there, I might have to take a nap. You know, you can't... You can't fight a dragon when you're feeling a little bit eepy. Wait, that's not it. Let's save that appetite, huh? No, I'm trying to get a room. I'm afraid there's not much to be... It's not choosing my... <laughs> it's not letting me choose the right dialogue like option. Folks here in town. There you go. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rod? Right this way. <laughs> yeah, you can have a, a morsel of a hello. You have a little little bit of a greeting as a treat. Ah, I don't want to spawn here. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. I low-key think I'd rather live to 40 during these times than live to 90 in modern day. You think? I don't know, dude. I don't think the quality of life is very good in, uh, in the medieval times. I think chances are you'd end up living your entire life in the village you were born in medieval times. And, like, never leaving, never exploring anything. So just, Ow! It's too dangerous. See? It's so dangerous. There's a dragon breathing on you every time you step out. Once you spawn as a king, <laughs> yeah, then, then you might do a little bit of traveling. Okay, you might get some adventure. Alright, where's he at? Wait, that's his butt. It should do extra damage, like, same as a headshot. If you hit them exactly where their like butt should be, I think. Oh, that was terrible. Oh. Hi, Craig. There's no eyeliner in medieval times. Couldn't do it. Same. I 
probably start rubbing like coal on my eyes. Go blind really early. <laughs> Not doing a good job at hitting this dragon. They had great or er, great lead base makeup. I heard that um Oh my god, what's what's that radioactive stuff that glows? <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's really really bad for you. Is it radium? Maybe it's radium. I heard something recently that, like, women that worked in in factories with the radioactive stuff that glows. I don't know in one, what time period. hundred years ago. Uh-oh. They used to, like, use it as a nail polish and stuff and put it on their teeth and everything because it made them glow and then it killed them. But before it killed them, they were very beautiful <laughs> with their glowing... Glowing nails and stuff. It's very sad, but like knowing what we know now, it's like insane to read about. Oh man. Oh, I gotta run inside. <laughs> Look at my health bar on survival mode when it's really cold, your health bar gets squished down when you're freezing. So the, the dark red on the outside is my health bar disappearing from me because it's too cold. So I keep having to run inside to warm up just so I don't get one shot by the dragon. Come on, just warm me up. All right, good. And now we're trying to fight again. Didn't that one guy sell a better healing book when he looked? Um, I don't even remember the last time I looked at spell books. Wait, is the dragon gone? Oh, he's back. Oh, I'm stuck. Alright, I summoned this ghost, but there's no way for the ghost to help me. He <laughs> can't fly. It's a, that was a bad choice for a summon. I was not thinking. <laughs> Dude, where are all the guards in this town? Do you think they all died? There's usually guards helping out, and they're all gone. <laughs> at all. Okay, we gotta try something else. Oh no. <gasps> My health. I resist 20% of frost damage. That'll help. Wait! I'm still dying. Oh crap. This is the worst fight ever. <laughs> I have an idea though. I'm gonna summon a flame creature. Hey Caitlin, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a really good stream. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Did we summon some key spells? Oh, we just had the 
We just had the same thought. I think this one can use spells. I don't really use this one a lot. Let's see. What'd you do on, on stream, Caitlin? What'd you play? Oh crap, terrible time for an ad to play. Oh no. video you need to watch. I know it's super sus coming from new chatter. I promise it's awesome. It's Skyrim related. If it's a, if it's Skyrim related, I might have to hold off because I'm uh trying really hard not to get anything like spoiled. Oh crap. Like for my first playthrough. Oh man, I gotta run inside. What if it's a... Uh, if it's not a spoiler, I could watch it. Just some Minecraft and Yap in the usual. Nice! Minecraft is great. I haven't played that in a long freaking time. Whoa, what did I just take damage from? But yeah, welcome everyone. I'm, I'm playing Skyrim for the first time. And right now I'm struggling very, very hard to <laughs> kill a dragon. Even though that's supposed to be my thing, I'm supposed to be the best at killing dragons, I am not very good at it. <laughs> Having a hard time. I'm also playing, like, in survival mode, so I keep getting very hurt by cold. The cold is really messing me up. So that's why I keep having to run inside. And I also really don't want to die because I'm playing with a mod that gives me death penalties. So if I die, I will lose all my stuff. So I'm trying to be really careful here. Oh my. Hey, kill day, thank you for the sub. So that's why I'm playing like a baby and hiding under these houses while this dragon destroys this entire town. Did I just hear a second dragon, or am I going crazy? I don't think I'm even reaching this dragon right now. hiding they called a friend honestly that'd be fair I keep summoning things so I'm calling friends he's almost dead though oh very nice of him to land for me so I could actually hit him I'm using my good arrows. <gasps> He's almost dead! Oh no! Oh man. Oh crap. Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh nice, we got him. Did the town guards die? Um, I think so unfortunately. Oh, hey, I get my arrows back. That's good. Whew. Imagine a dragon that faked being dead. That'd be, I mean, that'd be kind of genius. I would fall for it. <laughs> I would fall for it for at least the first two times. The third time, maybe I'd catch on. Maybe. Woo! 
Ooh. Oh, I lived. Yeah, I don't know what happened to all the guards. They're all gone. I don't even see any bodies. How much you died there? You'd feel so bad. <laughs> I would feel pretty bad. I have some... I have some pretty good weapons I really don't want to lose. Specifically all these staffs I don't even use, but I just like having them. They're at the college pondering the guards. I think they're not allowed in there, but it'd be cool if they did let them in. Hey, what's up, Aspen? Sorry, I missed a few messages while I was uh, trying to trying to survive. Hi, we down. Don't want to watch a video. Uh, did you link it? Let me see if I can open it up. I don't know why this game. I have a hard time tabbing out of this game. Skyrim theme misheard lyrics. Oops. Didn't even know the song had lyrics at all. Um Is this a is this a watch video or a listen video? You can watch it real quick. See. Uh. Oh, why is that so gigantic? <laughs> There you go. Sorry if it's too loud. Do I use Twitch Studio, Streamlabs, or OBS? I just use regular OBS. <laughs> I guess those are lyrics. I kind of didn't, my brain didn't even register those sounds as lyrics. I thought it was just a uh, humming. I thought it was a uh, very rhythmic humming the whole time. Dude, this Skyrim, the theme song to this game has been stuck in my head nonstop on a loop for the past 10 days since I started playing. I actually, uh, that is really accurate. It does sound like that. <laughs> it's so, it's so like subtle, but when I'm reading it, I can actually hear it. <laughs> I'm never gonna hear the the theme music the same again. One of the coolest aspects of Skyrim is the fact that they made a new language for the game. That is pretty cool. Does that not bleed into like the older games at all? Like it was just for this? That is cool though. <laughs> the dragon tongue was a new thing for Skyrim, I think. That's very cool. Party. Dude, those are some great lyrics. I like those. I'm never gonna hear this song <laughs> the same again. If there's anything you need, just let me know. 
All right, let me eat up. All right, we're warm again. To be quite honest, I don't even remember why I left the college of Winterhold. I don't remember where we were going. The dragon really, really blindsided me. I think I actually have to go right back to the college because I got to find Mirabelle. I was failing classes. Yeah, I had to get out of there. You're bringing me enough around, you can just keep walking. <laughs> All right, let me if buy some busy, food real quick. Oh man. Not a lot of food Until left. I ate it all. Wow, it's so peaceful out here now that the dragon's dead. Let me see if I could sell any of my stuff because I'm holding too much. I do what's next. Take a look. To sell some of my armor, maybe. No, some of my weapons. I've really been like hoarding items, which is not good because when I die, I lose all my things anyway, so there's no reason to hoard them. But I haven't died for like four hours now, so it's hard for me to part with some of my items. Let's go back. I'm pissed this game has been out for 11 years. Or no, the video, that video has been out for 11 years. I played this game for 400 hours. YouTube didn't think to put that in my algorithm. Finally, you were able to find your way to it. Man, I love this view. Winterhold is actually a pretty cool place. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. If there are any I will problems, bother you. Know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did know. What's the plan for today? Though I'm not sure what um, expects me to tell you. I'm supposed to save the College of Winterhold from a... An unnamed horrible disaster or something. Somewhere. And I uh, I guess the staff of Magnus is connected Mages to it, so I'm trying to find it. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite it's crazy how I'm just one understand. adventurer, but I have it's so much responsibility enough, in this world. The line of questioning made me uneasy it became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts looking to consolidate power so where's the staff Anyone here does the synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in skyrim they inquired about the ruins of mazulft but that's all I remember. some ruins it sounded like they were heading there though they were rather secretive about why i suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff there's a chance they might be in mazulft yet just don't expect them to be cooperative. All right. I guess I should ask I'm her about really sure. the staff. Made and used by Magnus himself, if you believe those sorts of things. I believe I've heard it said that it's the only thing that could adequately contain his power. The sort of embellishment wizards of ancient times loved to make. <laughs> She's so skeptical about the lore. Well... Veralda can teach destructions. Finnis is one of the best conjurers in all of Skyrim. Don't let Tolfdir fool you. He's the preeminent. If you can find him and... and find I'm trying him, to find someone to teach me a healing spell. She may be difficult to get along with. Got to find She's Colette. She's very knowledgeable when it comes to restoration magic. Have you managed to track down the synth? I guess we're going to a. Uh... Have you managed to track down the synth or the staff of magic? <laughs> she like just told me about it. I guess we gotta go find this ruin. 
Ruins of Mizulft. Ruins? How far away could they be? Kind of near Rift. Wait, no. Where's Riften? Oh, I guess it's not that far. Damn, we gotta go halfway across the country to find these ruins. I guess we'll head out there. Right, really quickly, I'll be right back. You guys enjoy, enjoy the view of this powerful orb, the pondering orb. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be fast. Orb go. I hate that it starts spinning. It makes me nauseous. <coughs> I accidentally put my protein bars in the fridge because I thought they had to be refrigerated, and now they are too hard to bite into, so I can't eat them. Just gotta wait for it to like thaw out on my desk. Whew. I'm very out of breath. I don't think I will ever in my life be in shape enough to not be out of breath from running up and down the stairs. <sighs> Since this is your first playthrough, I'm guessing it's only very lightly modded. I know you mentioned a death penalty mod. Yeah, I tried to keep the mods extremely minimal. I wanted to like only get the death penalty mod, but I had to get Sky UI to like make the death penalty mod work. And then I had to get some like patch, I like unofficial Skyrim patch or something, because uh, it apparently makes it not as glitchy. Um, I think those are the only ones I have. I have I have them listed if you type exclamation point mods. <coughs> One day, Flut will get proper nutrition and stop eating protein bars. Well, I ate like real food for lunch today. I had salmon. 
But for like a snack, I will probably always eat protein bars, even though I don't think they even taste good. Dude, where is Gunner? Where is my horse? I feel like I just saw him. <laughs> Anyone see a horse around here? I really feel like I saw him extremely recently. Like, I know I didn't go anywhere. I didn't leave Winterhold at all. So he's gotta be somewhere around here. He probably got scared and ran somewhere at one point. He'd be, he'd be doing that, he gets startled. I actually can't find him. Am I crazy? I, I feel like I saw him at the start of the stream today. Maybe I'm misremembering. Gunner! Casual dragon bones just laying there. They are very heavy. I can't really pick them up right now. Wait, how much? I can pick up like two of them, but then I can't pick up other stuff. It's about to turn to a winter hold lock run. <laughs> yeah, it's like so cold out here. I can't even leave the city without instantly starting to die. Oh wait, there's Gunner. Okay, I can't even go get him right now because it's too cold. I gotta run inside, warm up, and buy food from the shop. Man, winter hold is brutal. I think this is like the hardest city to survive in so far. Fur armor. Like, I'm wearing full fur armor. I feel like I shouldn't be this cold. Alright, fire. Warm me up. If your business would take a look. Okay. Alright then. Do I have a favorite city that I'm leaning towards? Um... I think, like, the coziest city is Whiterun. I think the prettiest city is... the one on the very far left. I think it's called Mark... Markarth? Um... I have to double check. Yeah, I think Markarth is the prettiest, but I haven't spent any time there. Like, I've been to that town twice so far, so I don't really know anything about Markarth, like lore-wise or anything, so... I don't know. It doesn't feel like home, but I do think it's very pretty. But Whiterun's super cozy. I like Whiterun a lot. I think Solitude is really pretty, too. I've still- I've never been to Morthal yet, so I don't know what Morthal's like, but... Hopefully we find our way over there soon. I, I think it's kind of crazy at this point that I haven't been over there, but I just haven't had a reason to go there. Like, none of my none of my quests are nearby, so I just haven't gone. Also, I like Windhelm. I haven't spent a lot of time in Windhelm either, but I did like it. I thought it was pretty over there. But very cold. You got some hacks? I don't know anything about nothing. That's true. I don't. I prefer to keep it that way. A lot of people in, in this very game keep telling me in game that uh, knowledge is bad and will kill me. <laughs> so maybe it's better to be dumb. <laughs> I had like a, a blue ghost tell me that today. That knowledge is bad actually. It blew my fucking mind. Alright, so we gotta go all the way over here. We're gonna... We're gonna run to Windhelm. They're so real for that. <laughs> Sounds like blue ghost propaganda wanting all the knowledge. Yeah, maybe he wanted it to himself. 
couldn't share. Holy shit, I hope I make it to Windhelm without dying to the cold. Basically, I think we just can't stop for any fights. We just have to keep running. Stamina. That was a winter man. This game looks amazing. Yeah, it's really pretty. I don't even have any like graphical mods and it looks incredible. Right now it's snowy, but I mean, I think the snow looks good. <gasps> spider on spider crime. They shouldn't be fighting. They should get along. Oh shit. I'm just gonna run. If you have a torch, hold it to be warmer. I don't have a torch. I really wish I did. <laughs> I really, really wish I did. That would make this a lot easier right now. I genuinely don't know if I'm gonna make it to Windhelm. I think we have a, a little bit of time before it starts like chunking my health. I might have, I might even be able to eat something to help. Doesn't the snowberry help? I had. I don't know if that's gonna help at all. We'll see. No time for fighting. I have an idea, but don't want a backseat. Yeah, no backseating, please. I appreciate that you don't backseat. That's okay, you know, if I freeze to death, I freeze to death. <laughs> it happens. I think we're out of the the worst of the cold now. Oh yeah, I got the little sunny symbol on my compass now. I think we'll be okay. Oh, what the heck? Who are they fighting? Oh, it's a dragon. Oh no. I can't fight a dragon right now. This is not the time or place. I gotta go. I'm so sorry to those those people. They will have to deal with that dragon on their own. It's too cold to fight a dragon right now. Man, Gunner can't even run right now. It's probably cold too. Should get him a little sweater. Hi, Andrew. Okay, we're almost at Windhelm. When we get to Windhelm, I could take the little carriage system to Riften or something. Since the place we're going is near, near Riften, kind of. Sick helmet, thank you. I probably picked it off a dead body at some point. That's just the life of an adventurer, though. Always finding stuff on dead bodies. Very brutal life. Okay, we made it. How far? Hmm. This is actually closer to where I am now. Um. Hmm. Okay. I was gonna. I was gonna take the carriage to Riften, but I think it, it's probably faster if we just. Go over there.
What does the backpack do? Uh, it increases my carry weight. I think normally I can only carry like 175 pounds or something like that. And with the backpack, I think it's up to 250. It's pretty nice. What's up, Yokai? Have I been liking Helldivers? I played it for one day. It breaks my headset. I don't know. As does anyone else use a Bluetooth headset and has played Helldivers too? Because I was reading that most people with a Bluetooth he headset are having problems with the audio in that game, so I wasn't able to enjoy it because it was just hurting my ears. <laughs> no, I didn't. It didn't snap my headset in half, but it made the audio really messed up. Another L for wireless users. Yep. Unfortunate, but true this time. Usually I love my wireless headset, but for that game, it just doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't work. So I couldn't really play Helldivers 2 for very long. But I mean, the little bit I played was cool. It was, it was funny. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, they got this. Hi, Bucket, what'd you miss? Um, what did you miss? Let me think. I joined the College of Winterhold, and we found a really cool orb, a giant orb, for pondering and such. And apparently, the orb is gonna bring, like, destruction to the world, kind of? So now I have to go stop it. <laughs> so... I need like a staff to stop it, so I'm going to these ruins to find the Staff of Magnus. That's what we're gonna do. Yo, that guy just punched that wolf to death. I respect that, that was cool. Weird amount of world destroying objects in this continent. I know, and for some reason, I'm responsible for all of it. I'm not, I don't even feel loyal to the College of Winterhold. I didn't, I never even like enrolled. I just walked in one day and they accepted me, which is actually very kind of them. So I probably should feel loyal to them. Maybe I'm a little bit loyal to them. I don't know where the heck I'm going. I hear dragons in the distance. Oh, isn't this like one of the places dragons come out of? Oh. Whew. Okay, I got her. Wait, no. They're... Where are all these animals coming from? The whole family is attacking us right now. Oh man. I enchanted my mace and just ran out of charge right now. God damn, dude. Alright, Gunner, you wait here. It's too dangerous for you. Joined college, found out orb. Turns out the magical nuke must find the orb to stop the world ending by finding a glove or gauntlet. Uh, it's a staff. We gotta find a staff. 
They didn't say the orb was a nuke. They said, um, that there's going to be, like, a chain of events, I guess, that uh, have started now. That are going to be very destructive. And they... <laughs> There's like a, a ghost in game that kind of implied that it's my fault, but not it's not it's like not really my fault because I, w I found the orb on a school field trip. Orb in storeroom. Damn, look at this place. What the heck? Wait, Dwemer? Oh shit. Whoa. Oh, there's no way I'm opening that. I only have two lockpicks. No! I need more lockpicks. I should have bought some. Oh! Okay. some gold. What? Damn, dude, I'm gonna be rich from this place. I gotta give Hilda some of this. I've been in a dungeon like this before. No, I've never been in a place like this. This place is crazy. Oh wait, what? I'm, I just did the wrong thing. I'm trying to give her stuff. I can't really hold a lot. Got your own pack yaki, yep. <laughs> I do indeed. This place is sick. I want to live here. Man. Dude, I'm really getting lucky with these lockpick combination things. Ethereum? Oh shit! Cryptocurrency. This is what... the I read a book in game that said that Ethereum is what made the... the Dwemers... kind of fall apart, like a lot of infighting. I want to pick this up, I don't think I can carry it. Oh, carry it. Hi Ark, good morning. Yeah, the Dwemer were crypto bros. It's a tale of caution. The... The Ethereum, you know, it destroyed their society from the inside out, is what... Is what the book said. Man, I really wish I brought more health potions with me. I think... Yeah, I only have one. This is bad. I'm kind of... Scared. Yeah, it was the Crypto Wars, exactly. How far am I from a town? I don't know if that really is a town. Hey, the Ethereum Wars? I think I already read this book. Let me make sure. Oh yeah, we read this one. That's what I was just talking about, how... I was talking about how... They, there's a lot of infighting due to the Ethereum. I really wish I had health potions. 
Do you guys think it's worth it for me to go back and get some health potions? Because it would really suck to die inside here and lose all my stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's a long run. A very long run. Oh my god, and now we're sleepy? Oh yeah, we should go back. It'll be a longer run back. Like, if I die? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back really quick. We got, we got Gunner. Very quickly. Buy some health potions. Sleep at the inn. Um, I guess that's all I could really do. Who the heck is this guy? Eh. I'm- I really am excited to go into that- That ruin so I- I don't have time to talk to strangers on the road. No time for, like, chit-chat. I got business to do. Business to attend to. Damn, the sky looks so nice. to make sure we're going the right way. Huh, there's a lot of people out and about. A naked giant. This candy cart broke down and just needed a new wooden wheel. I actually helped uh, like a jester with a broken cart at the start of my playthrough, and then never saw him again. Literally the only gesture in Skyrim, I think. What is this place? Where are we? Oh, it's like a mini town. Oh, uh, I should just go to Windhelm, because I need, I need to go to the Herblore shop. Oh, I thought I was making that up. Didn't know you could actually help someone with wheel problems. Yup. I had to convince a farmer to help him fix his cart. And I did, and the farmer had a heart of gold, so he helped him. Okay, that was actually a really fast run back. Back to the town. Don't you have a Windhelm bounty? You killed those four guards? I killed four guards? I don't remember killing four guards. I did actually have a bounty here once, though. You're, you might be remembering more than me. I I had a bounty, but I they sent me to jail. Welcome. So I guess my I debt so is paid. I I've got, a, got some fresh baked bread and take a look. Those dark elf refugees. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Of course you don't. I remember defending myself. <laughs> yeah, if I did kill them, I was probably defending myself, but I actually don't remember that entire... I don't remember killing guards at all. Unless... It is an accident. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think you're gonna play WoW? Classic Cataclysm? Or did you get burnt out? Or any Fallout? Hi, Cobbler. Um, I, I definitely want to play Cataclysm. I am burnt out on WoW. Like, I, I do need a bit of a break, which I am taking a break now. And our steel we will take but I would definitely like to play it at some point. It's not coming out to like, the summer, though, isn't it? And I do want to play Fallout. We're going to play Fallout New Vegas, but, um, sorry, I'm chewing. Took a little bite of my protein bar. Um, I was planning originally on playing New Vegas right after Skyrim, but I've fallen in love with like the lore. Oh, I see a dragon. 
And Hilda. I've fallen in love with like the lore in this game, so I'm I'm gonna play Oblivion next, and then I think Morrowind. And I wanna play the old ones too. Like Daggerfall or whatever. I don't know if I'll stream those. Maybe. But for sure, I wanna play Oblivion and Morrowind on stream. Oh wait, why is the store closed? What time is it? 6 a.m. Fuck. Oh, it's just wait. Two hours. It's still closed? What, are they lazy? <laughs> um... What the heck? Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Sure. Bolfrida is certainly grating, but she pays well. Thankfully, nobody from the city can see me out here. Okay, maybe now it's open. Nice. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a take a look. Potion. Wait, no. Have money? Fuck, we gotta sell some stuff. Sell all these gems. Sell this urn, I guess. Sell the ore. Uh, sell the necklace. Oh wow, that costs a thousand gold. I guess we don't buy that one. Well, I bought like three health potions. You come again. Better than better than what I had. Um I, I thought in Witcher 3 run would be dope. That could be cool. I don't know when that would happen. Witcher 3 is definitely a game I'd like to play one day. I've had it on Steam for like 10 years now. Because I tried playing it on my laptop like... I, probably around 10 years ago and my laptop couldn't run it and I gave up on it because it would just keep crashing my computer. Um, it'd be cool to play one day. That wouldn't be for a long time though I think because... I have a feeling with Skyrim, the Oblivion, Morrowind... And then Fallout will probably take a long time. Witcher 3 is very good, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. Overrated? Damn. I mean, that game has been out for a really, really long time, hasn't it? I feel like... Like, maybe... Maybe now a lot of new games have came out that compete with it, but it's probably for the time. It was as good as people said. Wait, Witcher 3 came out in 2015? What? I thought it was out for way longer. That means I would have... I would have tried playing it, like, close to when it came out. I'm gonna run away from that giant. great thing about Witcher 3 is it's not going anywhere, but by the time you play it, you might get to enjoy the mod loader. Hey, what do you mean? I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at like, getting into old games, even if they're old and janky. That's never really stopped me. I feel like I, I kind of prefer older games sometimes. Like, 
Like, I feel like a really good example of a very janky game that I really liked was uh, King's Field, which was a PS1 game made by FromSoft. It was before, well, obviously, before they ever came out with, like, Dark Souls or anything. And it's, like, very clunky to play, but I really liked it. I played it off-stream. I never finished it, though, because, um... I don't know if... Because I... <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to explain. I technically... Maybe... Possibly didn't own the game. And, um, was playing somehow... Online, and then the, uh, the website didn't exist anymore. I guess. <laughs> But I would have loved to buy it if I could. Um, if they gave me an option for somewhere to buy it, I would have loved to give them all my money. Like, truly all of it. But, um, you know. But hey, I never, I never finished it, so it's like, as soon as I... I found out it's legal, I stopped. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. But I'll just say, game was pretty good. No, I didn't, I didn't pirate it. I would never do that. I also didn't download anything. It was just on a, it was on a website. You just play it in browser, but I don't think it, uh, I don't know if that website's still around. I do love following the law. I was also just joking about all of that. Never even played that game. I didn't even tell you a thing about it. Hopefully a browser full of ads, they get their money. Um, if it existed, I actually, I thought maybe it did have ads. I don't remember. That's a while ago. If it happened. Allegedly. <laughs> did this guy just die? He just... What? So you're telling me he just waited there this whole time, just like holding on to his last little bit of life, and the second one person walks in that could save him, he... dies? <laughs> okay, could have held on for a couple more minutes. Uh, you didn't save him first time? First? I've never met this man in my life. This is my first time. Research log. At least, uh, he's got a book, a little journal for us. Um, alright. Attendant Gavros, the council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your specifications for the focus in crystal were completely incorrect. The entire binder's conclave has worked tirelessly, and the council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site, completing your work, and delivering a full report to the council with all possible haste. The council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the ocularly personally and that there will be no further implications first adjunct iran rel what's up anonymous just got here what's going on um i've been sent to find a staff a staff of magnus wow this is a really cool place look at that light bulb it's got rainbows it's a very pretty place we're in some kind of Dwemer ruin, I guess? Staring into my soul. <gasps> oh my god, what? I don't even know what just happened. Uh, this triggered something, but I don't even know what. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't notice that the first time at all. <laughs>
very scared of the floor suddenly. Maybe I'll put my, my health potions on both hands. Do my game sound go up 3000%? It is, it does feel a lot louder. I think it's just the environment though. Like I think this place is just loud. It kind of looks like a pressure plate or it's just a regular tile. It's a regular tile. Now I'm paranoid. A little robot, that's jumping on my face. A little robot spider. Linked and half my health was gone. Woo! Just deflected the crap out of him. Should have brought your robot spider pet here. Could have made some friends. Well, my pet spider is a real spider, not a not a robot. So I don't know if they would have got along too well. This place, <laughs> this place does not have very good airflow. This shit is dusty. Nice little seat. Oh man, this looks like it'd be important, but I think it's just a light, like a decoration light. You get a ghost, a ghost to help me out. Oh. A lot of soul gems from this place. Every, I think every single spider. Never mind. <laughs> I thought every single spider had a soul gem, but that one didn't. Why do they shimmy when they run at you? They're probably really excited. They probably haven't seen someone for a really long time, like a like a living non-robot thing. Ow. Actually, I don't know, because I saw dead bodies in here, so I, I guess they saw living living people probably pretty recently. <laughs> I just like to think that I'm special. Holy shit, this place is huge! Yo, I kind of like it here. It's like kind of cozy. my ghost I don't like this bug Ugh, I don't like bugs at all
Oh man. They didn't leave a lot of snacks for me. I should play Grounded. I played Grounded, and that game is very scary. I think the first time I saw a wolf spider in that game, I almost cried. I got a book. Man, I wish there was a way to sort my inventory by like just most recently picked up. Cause I don't remember the name of the book I got. Wait, I think there's that one. Mystery of Talara. I'm gonna skim through it real quick. Oh, that's a long book. <laughs> wow. That's a really long book. Maybe I, we don't read that one right now. It's a little too long for this moment. Hey, Tama. I'm not mad about that. Whoa! Where am I being hit from? I've been poisoned! This might be it. spell. Nope. I run away while my ghost deals with it. <laughs> Get his ass. Ow! Whew. This thing is insane. My ghost is very, very powerful. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't use it anymore because it maybe is too strong, but um, but then I come close to dying and I change my mind really, really fast. I have an enchanted bow or sword, they're pretty powerful. Uh, I think I have, I have this enchanted axe. It's pretty, pretty good. My, my mace is enchanted, but it's out of charge. Oh, I might be able to charge it though. But where'd it go? I picked up some soul gems. Oh yeah, that works. Oh, ghost. I'm just gonna keep resummoning my ghost. You should get a bound weapon conjuration since you like conjuration so much. But then I won't have enough magic to summon my ghost. Okay. 
Yo, they have some crazy... Uh... Like, protective machinery. <laughs> Wait, is this where we just came from? Oh, wait. Fuck. Uh, no! That was my last lockpick! <laughs> no! I keep forgetting to buy lockpicks. I never buy them. Maybe they got one lying around for me. I don't think they do. Come on. Hi, Goldwolf. How's everyone? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry, Hilda. Remind me of Roombas. A little <laughs> uh, vacuum robots. They're not like similarly shaped at all, but they just remind me of Roombas. What's with these like strings? You see that? I don't know if this means anything or if it's just uh, like a light reflection. It's creeping me out. Hey, potion table. Maybe that's what they are, they're Roompas. I mean, they definitely could be. I wish I had stuff to make more health potions, but I don't. Oh man, no block picks. Is that her first time seeing this, the sphere guys? Yeah, this is my first time seeing any of this Dwemer technology. It's pretty cool stuff, though. Summoning my ghost protection. Hmm. I feel like that metal... That's probably good to grab, but probably too, uh... Oh, man. Probably too heavy. Oh! Oh, crap. So lucky! <laughs> I don't even know what triggered these to move. Oh, I I see the pressure plates now. I did not see them as I was walking. I gotta pay more attention. Oh, 
Let's see what's down here. Uh oh. Oh man. That's the last spiders. I forget I have dragon shouts. I do actually very often forget that I have those. I don't really use them a lot. Huh, there's kind of nothing down here. is huge. I don't think... I think there's like a whole other direction for me to go. Oh, man. Oh! Ah! Wait. Did I go this way? No, I don't think I went this way. I remember killing that guy. <laughs> I like to shout at people. I also enjoy playing Skyrim. Shouting makes me cry. <laughs> Damn, these guys are wild looking. I feel like I've I've heard the Falmer mentioned in some of the books I've read in game. But I don't know if I've seen them before. They are, um... They're, uh, unique. They're very unique looking. That's all I could say about them. The boilery. I guess someone's gone through and killed all the spiders. Which is very nice, very kind of them. Oh my god, they must have just been here. Ghost. He's very handsome, take it back. <laughs> I mean, all I said was they look unique. Is that good? Bad? Who knows? Oh! Oh, shit. Dude, I would have died a thousand times over if I didn't have my ghost with me. So it looks like the researchers might have died to the little goblin looking guys. The Falmer. Maybe. Bye, Cosmo. Ooh. See him. Lydia's really good too. You should get. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yeah, I miss Lydia. I'll always miss her. I'll always love and care for her, too. I don't even know why I'm picking up this po poison. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. statue thing. I like it. I like art. The 
Undyne goes slow key carrying the the playthrough. Yeah, it is. <laughs> sure which way to go. I just want to say I've been wanting to play this game in the midst of dealing with life and depression but can't find the energy. I'm very grateful for your hardcore playthrough giving me nostalgic vibes I need. Hey I'm, I'm glad that you like the playthrough. I'm sorry that you're not feeling good though Craig. Hope things turn around for you quickly. May you feel better soon. I missed two of them. I missed! Dude, these guys are kind of badass. I like that little electric move. Whoa, look at this sword! That's a cool looking sword. I just don't have room for it in my inventory. I need a lockpick really bad. Oh, huh, wish I could unlock that. It was a lord. Why does the ghost freak out every time it expires? <laughs> it's probably being sent back and forth between the ghost realm of existence and, and this one. It's probably pretty, uh, pretty jarring. Oh, what is this? Oh, I thought it was like a, I thought this was like a battle axe. It's just a decoration. <gasps> Bug. Oh! realized I can I can wear better armor because I don't need I don't think I even have better armor <laughs> I don't need my fur armor anymore because we're not outside in the cold I don't even have anything else well I tried Just reinstalled the game after five years, inspired by your stream last night, actually. I hope you have a really good time with it. Do you have the anniversary edition or like the regular edition? Oh crap, I think that's a thing that's... Oh man. Where's my ghost? I think that's a thing that poisons me. I'm gonna drink a potion. Wow, Lydia died in a freak accident. Tragic, really? <laughs> it was a freak accident. I'm glad you recognized that. Alright, I imbued my mace with poison. Oh my god, Lydia, get off the wall. Get off. I can't even attack this guy. I can't even get there! Lydia's in the- or not Lydia, Hilda! Sorry, I'm getting my names mixed up. Ow. Woo! Oh shit, there's two of them! Guilty conscience. It's just always on my mind. dark in here. I can't see. <gasps> Looks like a trip string. Like a trap. Let's keep going. 
Watching the clip in slow motion, you can see Lydia have a heart attack just before the arrow hits. <laughs> yeah, the arrow, it would have changed nothing. Do I know anything about the Dragonstone? Like in this game? I do not. I remember having to get it. Wait, oh my god, my health! I remember having to get it at the very beginning of the game. Oh man. That was it. No one really ever mentioned the Dragonstone ever again <laughs> in the in the game. Damn, look at this one. That one's built different. I'll take that stuff, I guess. Oh man, this research quest, like, really went wrong. Oh, Hilda. <sighs> Hilda, please. I'm, like, actually about to send her home. <laughs> I can't. I can't get out. Fucking with me. Have you played the DLCs yet? Um, I don't know what's DLC and what's not. I have the DLCs, but you know, it's my first playthroughs. So I can't, I can't really discern between what's in the game automatically and what's not. She's trying to protect you. <laughs> she doesn't want me to keep going. But we must. I don't want the eggs, but I don't want this, like the little bugs to be born. <laughs> Because I think they're very creepy and gross. Ooh. Just another companion's main quest in Mage's Guild. Yeah, I'm trying to think, did I do any other quests? I feel like I did other quest lines. Oh, I summoned the, the Wolf Queen Potema, but then I never ended up finishing that quest, but I still have it. I have it on my map, like I want to finish it. I just got kind of stuck on it. Damn, I did not bring enough food with me to this place. Oh wait, I was gonna charge my weapon. Is it just me or does that healing thing in her left hand make a really high-pitched constant noise? It does. It does have a constant noise going. Is it really annoying? I can put it away for, for now. Until we're in combat again. I really wish I could go in that room, but I don't have a lockpick. Do anything for a lockpick right now. Should just let me squeeze through this. I see a key. How am I? <laughs> how am I gonna get it without a lockpick? Have I done any Daedric quests? Mm. Oh, I started the the quest line for the Saints and the Seducers. That was one I was actually really excited to do, but 
I got a little bit stuck on it. In the lockpick. Got a little stuck on it. And then... I actually found a seducer's camp, like, I think yesterday. But I couldn't kill him, so I'm gonna have to go back and try and kill him again. Where's my ghost? Did he die? Oh yeah, I saved Dawnstar from Nightmares. That was like a really fast quest. Like, wasn't an extended quest line. Well, at least I think. I did- I did save him. I was very heroic. Yeah, I want to do more quests with the Saints and Seducers because I think they're really interesting. I just got stuck on one of the quests. But when I get stuck, I like to just revisit it again later. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna revisit it again later. At some point. I'm like choking on my protein bar. Hey guys, have you heard about Twitch Prime? <laughs> Very good, Chuals. Whoa, oh my god! Oh! No way! No! <laughs> I signed to a trap! <laughs> what the fuck? How could that one shot me like that? Holy crap, you just removed 666 gold. That's kind of creepy. Oh. To be fair, you did survive two traps with luck earlier. <laughs> Are you saying that was just that was just my fate? Like it was just catching up to me. <laughs> Man. I was waiting for that trip this whole quest. Ah, oh, that sucks so bad. Does Hilda have any items? Yeah, I gave her... I gave her some. I actually- I should have taken, like, this metal armor out earlier. Oh, but I don't even have the full thing. Well, but still. I don't have a lot of weapons. Let's see what books I got to keep. At least I got to keep a lot of books. Not all of them, but I got to keep a lot. All the important ones, I'm sure. My quest items. <laughs> Twitch Prime was a pretty... <laughs> it's a pretty funny timing. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, I guess we gotta go back there. At least I have, I have money. So I could buy food and... Some are saying the Sijic monks have been potions. Dude, I didn't even see, like, the trap. Like a... Like a pressure plate or something? I don't know. I didn't even see anything. I was just, I blinked and I was dead. Chopping up some wood. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Buy some of this stuff. Damn, food is expensive. Need anything else? Just let me know. Hey, CX! Thanks for a sub to fly in CX. If we if we were combined into one being, it'd be too powerful. If fly in CX was real. Let me know. What's happened so far in the stream? Hi guys! Uh, I just died a horrible, horrible, tragic death. It's probably not a good idea. Everything's for sale, my friend. Some got lockpicks. This is actually where, when I die, all my stuff goes here. But you can see it's really expensive, like unreasonably expensive. Why is that four thousand gold? That doesn't make any sense. It does all go here. I'm trying to find
find where lockpicks would be. Oh, at least these are not unreasonably expensive. Get 20 of them. Do come back. <clears throat> I cook soups all the time, soup is profitable. Unfortunately, I'm pretty low on <laughs> low on ingredients. Let's see if I can buy some health potions, though. You look ah, so you're an alchemist then. Come back anytime if you need a rent. Have I bought the Dawn Fang back? I actually didn't even look at the price. Let's see what how much it costs. How much do you think it's gonna cost? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find Definitely like at least several thousand, I would guess. I'd even take a look. Ten mil? I don't I don't know if that's even possible. Uh, it's, it's five thousand. That's a lot, but it's not as much as I thought it'd be. Well, almost it's almost six thousand. The dragon bane's only twenty five hundred. Which is still a lot. I only have 175 gold, but. Damn, look at all these. Oh, I forgot about this one. The Lunar Sword. I really like that one. Oh, and I really like this one too. This Fire Sword. Man, I wish I had money. Remember, I'll be careful. Yeah, I, I lost a lot of really cool stuff. It's okay, because I got my regular, <laughs> my regular war axe now. At least I got that. What is it? The pain of being broke, yup, it's a hard life. Alright, it's 8pm, let's sleep until morning, then we'll go back. You guys start hoarding weapons in your house. Yeah, it's hard to do though, cause I guess I just don't really come back to my house a lot. I'm I really only come to White Run when I'm when I die and I'm teleported here. I don't really make a lot of pit stops here, but I probably should. You should do a lot of side quests. Um, I think. The quest I'm doing right now is a side quest, like the the ruin thing. What's my my race? I'm a wood elf, looking pretty cool. Wish I had armor, but I'm not that that fortunate today. Fuck! I don't have gunner here. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Windhelm. Climbing back and we'll be off. Nice weather for a ride. Open just on Instagram story, why well, you got Kirby offering drugs? I don't know, he's just a cool dude. He's a cool hip guy. Hungry. Oh, hey, there's Gunner. That's good. All right, well, we're not starving anymore. Let's go back. Let's go back and, uh... I guess I'll see if I could pick up any armor off the bodies when we're in there. What level am I? Uh, 24. I'm surprised I'm still level 24. I I started the stream at level 24, but I feel like I've I've killed a lot of things today. Are you saying Gunner? Yeah, that's my horse's name. I didn't name him that, but I like the name. It's a good name. The game named him by itself. Sure, we're going the right way. 
We all enter the world naked, even the dragonborn. True. That's just how it be. You mean horse number two? This was actually horse number one. This was the first one I ever found. And then I lost him, and we found a second horse named Foresty. And then I found Gunner again. So... I, um... I released Foresty into the wild. I have never seen Foresty ever again. I <laughs> don't know where that horse is. That's okay, because we got Gunner. Which horse did you say has a fat ass? I think all of them do. Look, look at this one. It's gigantic. It looks like a, it's like apple shaped. Drop items is a mod, right? Yeah. It, the mod is called Ashes. Oh, it's an assassin. This is actually good. I can, I can get some armor. Got some of my ghosts really fast. Ooh. And I'll get a weapon. Bullcrap, I didn't get the armor. I'm still I'm still naked out here. At least I have a backpack. <laughs> Did I retroactively name Forest Horse Foresty? No, that was that was the name. I didn't get to choose any of the names. The game just decides. I think I'm gonna have to use mage robes because there, there are a lot of mage dead bodies around inside. So I will use whatever, whatever I can. Sorry to this guy. You always use the same skills, that's why you level up slower. You're already quite high in those skills. Oh, that actually makes sense. I didn't think of it. I didn't think of that. I do use the same spells. It's like I, I find what I like, I find what works, and I stick to it. Oh, I see that. Like right now. Oh, I guess it's kind of too early to summon my ghost, but I couldn't undo my spell. I feel like we are pretty far into this place. So I guess we just gotta run for a little bit and uh, not die to a trap. This looks correct. I remember having a crush on the flame Atronach in high school. <laughs> I mean, I cannot blame you. I, I understand. <laughs> I very much understand. <laughs> I'm sure there's more food here. Oh, I didn't even notice this little tripwire before. I thought I just saw shaking. Those trip wires are very... Like, that, that's a good trap. Those are hard to see. The pressure plates? Uh, those are still hard to see sometimes, actually, but the, the trip wires really get me.
At least now I have lock picks. I could try opening this. There we go. What's up, Bricely? That was it. Um, regenerate, regenerate magic faster. I like that. Sounds are very eerie right now. I can't remember if I went this way. Oh, this place was locked. I could open it. Hi, War Gamester. How's it going? It's going good. I just died, like, uh, 10 mi 15 minutes ago. So I guess that wasn't good, but now I'm back. I'm alive. It's, things are going well now. It's got this cool helmet. Oh, I'm still naked, though. <laughs> Wait, but that's kind of a really cool look. I kind of like that. I don't know if it's going to really protect me, but I like it. I don't think I even have any alchemy ingredients. Nope, I don't even have one. I think I'm actually gonna use the mage armor just cause, well, cause I'm using magic a lot. I'm just not really good at jumping. Oh, never mind. I'm pretty good at jumping. Oh, I can get a sword and a shield. noticed the quest symbol on that door before so I thought for a second I was in the wrong place like I somehow got turned around have you even used a shield since the first day um I've definitely used one here and there but it's not a it's not a go-to for me I don't use them that much I don't really like them but if it's like all I have of course I'll use it I lose all my gold when I die. Yes, except for what I give to like Hilda to hold on to. So when I died this time, I had a little bit of gold on her. I just go in a circle. Look, I just went in one giant circle. So I was able to buy like food and stuff to come back. I remember being talked into a pre-order on Skyrim by a GameStop employee. I owe that guy a beer. Played this game so much. Yeah, that guy knew what he was talking about. Oh, I was here already. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember where I died. I died quite a bit further. Oh man. Oh man, that's a hard one. <laughs> what the f 
fuck. hard. I don't even think it was worth it to unlock this room. There's nothing here. Not worth it. Need to be more gentle just breaking those lockpicks. I'm trying, but I'm not really good at lock picking. Never really get to do it that much. Hmm. I feel like that was extremely underwhelming. Like I, I feel like with how hard that lock pick was, there should have been something cooler in there. realize how long we had actually gone through this dungeon. I got pretty far before I died. Oh, another tripwire. What do you think this place smells like? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I feel like probably maybe like sweat, like maybe my own sweat. Since it's like warm in here, it's like very humid. Try and get through. Oh, it probably smells pretty moldy. It probably smells like mold. At least the cave areas. A base basement. There's dead bodies and mushrooms glowing. To be fair, I don't think the dead bodies have been there that long. Potion. Oh, there's no way I'm unlocking this. I'm gonna try though. Fuck. Oh. Oh, so close. Oh man. Oh my god, so close. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Look at that. Hey, and I leveled up! And I got four gold! I got a book. I got a key. A diamond necklace. Holy crap. No love for Lork Lorcan for the book. Uh, the book gave me. I didn't even grab it. It gave me XP, so I thought it wasn't like an important one. armor for this. Dude, how long has that bug been in here for? Oh, 
Oh man. Wait, maybe there's like a key or something. There's a bed. I would hide a key up here if I lived in this room. Well, I guess we gotta try and unlock it. What's your favorite part of the lore so far? What level are you? Uh, I'm level 24, or maybe or 25. I just leveled up. Um, favorite part of the lore? That's a really good question. I think the stuff that's been the most interesting to me overall has been the stuff with the Daedra, like the demon stuff. I like me a good demon, demon story. Um, what else? There's a lot of really good, good stuff that's interesting. I think right now I'm doing a quest on the Dwe Dwemer with the, with the College of Winterhold. And I think the Dwemer stuff's really interesting too. Ooh, Rank of Sneaking. I don't really do a lot of sneaking, but I've never, I haven't had like an enchanted ring yet, so I'm gonna put it on. <clears throat> you love Oblivion and Morrowind then? Because of the Daedra? That's good, I, I wanna know more about him. I wanna know more about Lord, Lord Sheogorath. Every time like a book or a story in this game mentions him, I, I always try and read it. Oh, hey, this is where I died. We're back to where I died. Oh, I got a hammer. Okay, I, I died through the other door. <sighs> now I don't I don't trust any door now. I feel paranoid. At least this one's open since I fucking died here. I'm scared. I'm scared to go here. I can't even help in this fight because I'm too scared. Okay, I can help. Ooh. You can't run away. Okay. I think that's where the spikes came out of. But I have no idea what triggered it. Wait. I see something on the ground. Oh. Need a light. jumped in. <laughs> that was scary. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to sleep. Oh, that's good, I leveled up. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to put a point into. Maybe lock picking. So I've, I've been doing that a lot. Oh, and I can't, I'm not high enough level. Maybe alchemy. I do that a lot too. Uh, oh, I guess I'll unlock that. Better potions. 
I absolutely do not want to set this as my spawn point. Hey, this is pretty good armor. Steel plate, let's go. Leather boots of shock. Uh Elven helmet of magica. Damn, the helmet is very ugly. <laughs> At least on on my character, maybe it'd look better on someone else. But everything else looks pretty good. Ugh. Past the trap. This door seems real. It'll be nice to have until the next door, <laughs> yeah. Yep, I am. Oh, I am mentally prepared to die at any moment now. I'll check the perimeter of every single door ever, at least in this place. I can't. It's probably not a habit that's gonna stick with me for forever, but in this place. I sense a presence. Ooh. Come on, ghost, yeah, hurry up. really bad. Woo. Bro's got a crab claw as a weapon. <laughs> oh man, that makes me hungry. Too much. I came in here with like nothing. Now I've got so much I can't even carry it all. Give some to Hilda. Jewelry. I'm gonna drop these right just like random clothes. Magic spells do more damage than my melee. Maybe it's just a bad weapon. Leveling defense by being hit is always such a crazy mechanic. Well, how else would you level it? Looks like a pressure plate to me. I'm Whoa, that's a lot of them. Whoa! Hmm. <sighs> Not a lot of potions to help me out here. Increases light armor for 60 seconds, I guess. 
a little bit of meat. Hilda, you're making me stuck. Oh my! Oh my God! My! Oh, what is happening to me? Why am I getting so hit? Fuck! I might need to pick up a shield or something. Magic potion really bad. everyone else idea where that's coming from. Holy shit, someone's shooting fireballs! What is happening here? Is it that guy? That guy's got fireballs? I didn't know I had this bow. <laughs> ah! Oops. Dead. How's he not dead? Am I? I'm not even hitting him. It's because he missed. It didn't look like I missed on my screen. Looks like it was right on him. Hit him. He has like one HP. I'm gonna send out the weakest version of my ghost. He's getting, my ghost is gonna die in one hit, but while he gets hit, I'll shoot my bow. No way. <laughs> That's the worst fight I've ever been a part of. can't hit him. You're just torturing your ghost. 
I need him to tank for me. Okay. Okay. Nice! Oh, there's this, yeah, this crazy staff. Staff of fireballs. Her to hold something for me. Never mind. I can't give her anything. Oh, that was a tough fight. Holy crap. So bad. Use a staff. I'll try it out in combat, but right now, since there's nothing, I'm keeping my healing spell out for emergencies in case I get blown up by something again. way to go. That way, that way looks important, but so does that way. And that way looks pretty important, too. Salmon. Did the healing spell help with the spikes last time? Well, no, but I didn't have it. <laughs> I didn't have it equipped. Maybe if I had it equipped. I right, check every part of the door. Oh, I don't have a key for that door. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Door looks safe. <gasps> this place looks extremely sketchy. I hear rumbling. So cautious i'm so scared to just get one shot and die and ruin all my progress wait have i been here so dead right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Distracted. this crap. I'm, I'm doing 
team damage to my ghost. Dude, I'm actually gonna die. Oh man. <gasps> that didn't fucking do anything. He's almost dead. Oh, good work, ghost. Good work. Oh man, that was scary. after the goat. I don't think he's gonna... He can't carry it. Holding too much. I mean, I want to use the staff. I think I'm gonna use it. Oh, I hear creepy sounds. I feel like actually so paranoid right now. <laughs> like everywhere I step, I'm like, yep, it's gonna be my last step. I already know. the key. Look at all the dungeon loot you can even take with you. Look at all the random gold stuff. Yeah, it would have been nice to get to keep it. This cave is so deep. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be this large. I'm guessing this is probably like a very major quest area. Oh shit, locked. How are you with puzzles? Um, not the worst, not the best. I feel like medium, average. Fuck. Um. No, I think I use my lockpicks. I right, please don't let this door kill me. I think the green tea isn't helping the paranoia. I don't think anything's gonna help the paranoia. I've just simply learned that this place is full of creepy traps. This reminds me of that place in um in Elden Ring where it's like the chariot runs down the track and one shots you kills you. My ghost buddy, you get help? What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? Um. And just why would you not tell him he's dead? Oh, it doesn't matter now. Gavros is never coming back, and he was supposed to have the crystal. Without that, we're lost. It's all been for nothing. So congratulations, whoever you are. You found the Synod. Just me alone. 
surrounded by angry machines and angrier Falmer. Can't believe he survived this whole time. First time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he says. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. The cold. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. What's the crystal it was a brilliant for? idea, really. Mostly mine, though Gavros took the credit. Kyle. Though, official Synod business. Can't talk about it. I'm looking for the staff. Are you? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I need the crystal to do anything useful, and I don't. I don't want to tell him I have a crystal because I think I have to. He's gonna. He's gonna kill me for it. Like, look. He's got his. He's got his hands out. He's got his weapons out. I don't trust you him. Found in the world that's it that's it i don't know who you are but you may have just saved this little project in fact who are you anyway just a just a humble humble little guy named dragonborn you are are you sabos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you but now you come here expecting something from me i don't much like this i'll tell you but you saved my skin so maybe i could overlook the past for now Come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter huh. what Gavro said, this was my idea first. Okay. The council is going to know that when I get back. I was the one who thought of using this. This. Oh, food! I don't know what the dwarves called it. I've been starving. I'm sure. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the divine. Dude, he's been like camped the out here. All of it was designed to collect starlight. And then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the- You met the Sayak? Yeah, one of the Sayak came to me in a vision. Whoa! That's just Giant they orb. Right this time. Or not really a vision. He magically spoke to me <laughs> and told me to save the College of Winterhold. How did I change my inventory UI? Um, I think it's, uh, is it called sky ui sky ui oh damn this is really cool here it is magnificent isn't it it, is. it took an incredible amount of work to get it running again now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Whoa, it looks like a teleporter. The central apparatus, and we can start the process for focusing it. I do not trust the construction of this ramp. No support columns. That's true. Now you know it's magic. This looks like a teleporter. Oh man, it's a lot of books. I've read a few of these. I didn't I didn't, I didn't read these ones though. The inquiries. I want to. I read the history and culture. I want to read the inquiries, but there it's a lot of books. I already know those spells. Wait, I don't think I placed what I was supposed to place. Oh. How am I meant to reach up there? I guess like that. <laughs> Very easily. Oh, I think I see. Gotta figure out how to focus it. I'm guessing the lights have to hit these blue things. Okay. Hi, Andrew. Okay. Wow, the 
sound is very <laughs> unpleasant. Wait, does this thing move at all? No, it doesn't move. All right, guys, just a, just a reminder, no, no helping. We'll figure it out. Oh man, Hilda, you're really bumping into me a lot. Okay. You got distracted when he was telling you what to do. I heard what he said to focus the the crystal. Mm -hmm. Now the crystal needs to be focused. It was created so far away. We knew that some adjustments would have to be made. Heating and cooling the crystal will cause it to expand or contract, which will change how the light passes through it. You'll need to use spells to do that. Being from the college, I assume you know them already. There should be a few basic tomes around here somewhere in case your training is even more substantial oh, than I've heard. Uh huh. All right, so got flames. What was the other one? Frostbite. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Wait, does this move on? No. Oops. I don't think I've ever even used that frostbite spell. He'll the move! Okay, I see. Who these things? I oh mean, this is a long, it's gonna be a long puzzle, isn't it? Try and move this one. Oh, it moves all of them. That's not gonna work. Don't look at chat. <laughs> How will I read that message? <laughs> I'll I'll try try to stay clear. Oh man, I'm sleepy in game. Okay, that's not quite in the right spot. Let's see. You see this? You cheated by reading chat. <laughs> it's very, very difficult for me to not read the chat at all. I feel so alone when, when I'm not reading it. See if I could like stop him half through, like halfway. That one seems like it's in a good spot. That one's definitely not. Okay. Alright, well, 
Let's try. Do these do anything? Yes. What if I accidentally kill him <laughs> in the crossfire? Oh, come on. That one's not gonna hit it. It's so close, though. Oh, wait. Oh. Do they... Huh? Do they only have to pass through? Maybe they only have to pass through. They don't have to, like, be stationary. Like that. hurting my brain. I know that one in the sky is going to survive. Okay, that's Okay, it's doable. <sighs> okay. Freaking the fuck out. Okay, this one I gotta move all the way around. Oh, there's a light right there. This is a tough puzzle. Hi, Famine. feel like that makes any sense to me incredible amount of interference it's not supposed to do that oh. <laughs> yeah I mean whatever it works stole my work wait well, he's yelling at me so what is it what did, I did what you told me to do attempting? are you here to make sure your plan worked that our efforts have been for nothing well explain yourself what the heck's he talking about yeah literally I don't know what you're talking you about just as our work nears completion. And now I can't get any results from this because of something at your college. Do you think me a fool? Do you think I'm too stupid to make the connection? You've ruined my work. I feel stupid. How did you do it? I have no idea Either what you're, you're talking about. Me, or you have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful. Beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? Just a little pondering orb. The Eye of Magnus? Well, I suppose if that means what I think it does. Well, that's interesting. Dude, he just switched up like crazy. He's just calmed down so fast. You're looking for something, yes? The Staff of Magnus. Yes. Well, even if you are trying to ruin my work, 
There's still something to be I'm learned. trying to ruin his work. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. Orrery. Instead of projecting the sky, we project all of Tamriel, and then harness the latent energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed to reveal to us sources oh. of great magical power. I see. This Curia is... Safeguard the Empire. This is the Greybeard Mountain. Yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed. Up here is the your college. The other where the college would be. be labyrinthian. So, mage from Winterhold, despite your intentions, I've beaten your little game. Even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold. The Synod Council will be very interested. I literally told them that. <laughs> so fine. Trudge off to Labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil. And deliver my full report to the count. This is not over. I assure you. Oh, this is the whole map of the continent? Oh. I mean, this looks like where on the Skyrim map the mountain is. And Winterhold is near islands. Well, yes. Probably. I mean, yes. Certainly it is. But that doesn't matter now. Because I know you're hoarding something even more important at your college. The council. So he doesn't even know where the staff actually find is. Out what you're up to. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Am, I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here than I could have hoped to. Your trickery <sighs> will confuse me. I think we're done here. Screenshot the map. I could screenshot it. I've never seen the entire map before. I don't even know which one is Skyrim. Well. I guess that's a... Uh... I guess that's all we got. Over here. I'm trying to see if any if I want to take any of these books. Skyrim is the candor of the map. You got what you came for, didn't you? Oh, I Go see. Then. Back to your college. Okay, so that little mountain right there is um is High Hrothgar, I think. Okay, I see. And then up here where that little dot is is probably Winterhold, because he said that's where the big magic is. And then there's another big magic right there. Which is like... Oops. Well, I can't zoom out that much. Somewhere around here. It's a very big, <laughs> very big zone. I gotta look at it again. Okay, no. It's a mountain. Somewhere around here. Here. Oh, lab labyrinthian. That's what he's talking about. It's gotta be right there. Apparently I've been there before, I don't recall. Since it's white on the map, I think it means I've been there. I probably didn't actually go there. I probably just like rode past it on on Gunner, my horse. Alright. True American put it in US terms and she gets it. <laughs> yep. I like this big ass orb. It's not as cool as the orb we got at the college though. Oh, I'm gonna take his food. And his 10 coins. Um, do we go this way? Oh, what the fuck? You have done well. <sighs> Another Oscar, vision. But trying times are ahead. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. You will be called on to take swift action. 
Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. What if I'm not right capable? <laughs> and you will prevail. Oh, we're on a mountain. Well, wait, I still have business in there, it says. It says I still have a quest here. But... You know, it's a bug. Oh. Like a really common one? Sometimes the map indicator bugs like that. I see. That's, <laughs> that's pretty confusing. Oh man, it's a long way down. horse somewhere at the bottom. Hey, a chest. Lockpick. Cool helmet. Cool bow. Can't hold it though. Gotta leave something. Too heavy. All right, now we're good. Hi, Andy. If you were to follow the indicator, it would lead you to outside again, but from the entrance. Oh, I see. Well, it sounds like we gotta prepare for battle or something back at Winterhold. We gotta rise to a great challenge. This is a really cool place. I really like this this dungeon. I think that was maybe one of the coolest dungeons in the game. Well, so far. <laughs> Look at that dragon just flying around. I really appreciate that like the dungeons in this game are really unique. Like, it's not just, like, one cave copy and pasted. Or if it is, I mean, I... It's well done enough to where I wouldn't notice. I think they're all different. And Andrew, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's run back to Windhelm. Your helmet looks like a watermelon. Yeah, it does. It's a very ugly helmet. What else we got? Oh, this one's a little bit better. I really don't want to fight that dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna hope it doesn't notice me. I'm surprised you haven't put a focus on smithing or something to make armor when you die. Yeah, it's hard to... I feel like it's hard for me to find places to mine, like to get ores and stuff. I haven't seen that many. Like in caves, I see places to mine, but that's... That's about it. I'll find a lot of spots out and about. I'm just running away from that fight. The cleared marker means that there should not be any more story quest items or enemies in the dungeon. But cleared dungeons will reset with normal loot. 
no story loot or story bosses. Oh, that's cool. So there's a reason to go back. Or if you like stumble back in, it won't be for nothing. I gotta stop by White Run so I could put some put some stuff into storage. And I want to get some health potions. I use like all my health potions in that dungeon. Cave or whatever. Mine, I just buy all the ores and ingots. Yeah, but if I die, I don't have any money, so I wouldn't be able to buy too much stuff. Unless I save some money before I die. Which I do sometimes, but not, and back and we'll not as off. much as I should. Damn, I look cool. I like my armor. <laughs> this is like the first time in a really long time that I'm not wearing just fur armor. I actually have good... Well, I think it's good armor. Like stuff that actually... Protects me. I haven't seen Santa in a while. Did he get stuck in Souls time? No, he's uh, he's been out and about today. I saw him a lot in Winterhold. He actually helped me kill a like a spirit. I summoned a spirit demon thing. He was like a pirate um, underneath Winterhold, and Santa Claus was right there, and he saved my life. It was actually really really nice. I didn't have to fight him at all. He completely took care of the fight for me. I really appreciated that. Damn, we're hungry. <laughs> Nine tomatoes for dinner. Let's sleep. There's an algorithm that decides if the dungeon resets in 10 days or 30 days in game. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I, I wonder how many days have passed in game for me, because I have no idea. I wonder if it says anywhere. Oh, days passed, 74. That's a lot of days. <laughs> gold found 31,000. Most gold carried 5,000. That was right before we we bought the bought this house. Oh, I got some stuff in in this place. Got some backpacks. Oh, I got armor. Full health thing. That's cool. Um, I don't even know what I would put away right now. I don't really have anything I want to keep that bad. What's up, Cod Ninja? Am I new to Skyrim? I am. I started playing like 10 days. No, I guess it, it would have been two weeks ago, but this is my, I think, 11th day of playing. Whoops. Eh. I don't really want to make a potion. How much longer will I be online? Like today? Uh, probably not very long. I think the. Crap, I'm hungry. I think the next quest is gonna be a big one, it sounds like, in Winterhold. I don't know if I'm ready for a, a big, big event right now. I'm getting tired. <laughs> if you want anything, I think I got a clean mug around. If it's work you need, drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Buy all the food. Make sure it's cooked. Hard day of adventuring. <laughs> it, it was pretty hard. I had to use my brain. 
in the in that last dungeon. That's that's always hard. It's always a tough time for me. I enjoy this. Take a look. I think See if I can cook any of my stuff. food. Do I have enough lockpicks? I don't have enough lockpicks. I used up almost all of them in that last dungeon. Cave. I honestly don't need to use lockpicks that much, though. Like, that was a... I think that was the most lockpicks I've ever used so far in that... Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find um, Dwemer place. For. Everything's take a look. I might buy some. Um let's buy twenty two of them. Do come Hopefully back. I won't die with them. Did I come out alive? I did! I died once in that in that dungeon. I died to a freaking door. But I'm alive now. Hmm. Well, I think this is a good place to call it. I not mentally prepared for a big big battle. But I will be tomorrow. And we'll call it a little early today. Save the game. I'm really happy with the progress today, though. We only... Did I only die once today? Or twice? Did I die twice? I think at, at most I died twice. I'm ready for that stream start lore dump tomorrow. Yep. That's how, that's how it always is, pretty much. <laughs> Stream starts, all the lore. Bombarded with lore. But we'll be ready for it. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, I hope you guys all have really good days too. I will be here tomorrow. With, I think I'll be live at like 2pm tomorrow. 2.30, 2pm, 2pm PST. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning, but... After that, I'm ready to game. Um, I am gonna host. Don't even know. Let's host. Oops. Let's host my friend Omid. Um, feel free to join the Discord if you guys want. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have a feeling tomorrow will be a big lore day. I say that every day, and then it ends up being true every day. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot to learn about this whole universe. I like it. Good night, everyone. See you guys later.